Welcome. Uh, today's video is... Today's stream will be shorter than usual because I decided that you could all have a short stream that is probably okay, or a long stream that I've stressed myself out to get to. So here we go. You'll notice from the overlay around the webcam and in that corner of the screen, uh, this is a review. This is uh, a game being played to review for Gamer Dating, uh, south of the circle. Um, YouTube, remember these symbols because I sure as heck I'm not going to be able to do that. I do. I'll try my hardest, obviously, to play the game and to make the choices. But honestly, I I mean, I get why the text prompts are somewhat sometimes less accessible, but I'm gonna struggle. Antarctica, 1964. South of the Circle. No, we're going to remain calm. We're going to be calm. We are a calm person. I guess not. Hey, hey, come on, wake up, uh, wake up. <laughs> oh, thank God you're all right. Ah, I, God, my leg, it's jammed. It's jammed in here. Here, here let me help. Ah. Uh, 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 it's broken. It's broken. Got stuck under the bloody rudder pedal. Anything I can do? Ah, uh, uh, see if there's a first aid kit around, will you? Should be behind my seat. Give me a moment. I don't want to obscure uh, subtitles, so. Not an expert, that doesn't sound good. No, no, it does not. It, in fact, sounds less than good. Sounds painful. Ah, oh, that's better. It's not going to last forever, though. Where are we? Hopefully not out of range of the radio masts. Hoping to be a calm person for this playthrough. Mayday, mayday, this is Alpha Romeo Lima. I crashed south of Deception. Coordinates roughly 82 south, 19 west. Come on. Hello, Faraday, do you read? Do you think you can move? Uh, 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 well, that's your lot. Uh, puts pay to flying out of here. I'm good for nothing like this. Not in this weather either. Yeah, that too. At least I saved the plane. Yep. Hey, hey, you see that up there? You got some shelter. We were about to fly over one of the British outposts, Deception Point. That should be it there. Maybe they've got a doctor. Uh, yeah, I, I think I can see it. So can you make it? Make it? It's, it's freezing out there. Okay, so if you run down the Last clock, it just selects it. Both freeze to death. Uh, we, we, we could wait. Oh, come on, mate. Your very godmother's not going to magically appear. But she might. Nobody knows we're here. Oh, come on, mate. I've done my best to get us down in one piece. Time to be a man, eh? How far away do you think it is? Could be five. 
Ten miles. Can you make it? We don't really have a choice, do we? Yeah, cool. Good man. How will I find my way back? Uh, uh, there might be something here. I uh, keep a box for emergencies. I think this qualifies. Uh, this is flares. This is feeling like an interactive cutscene. The game. Keep an eye out. I'll open this window and send one up on the hour. I help you get your bearings. Hey, hey, you here? Uh, I'm here. I'm here. Just don't lose yourself out there, okay? Just keep straight. But I'm pansexual. Uh, I'll be back as soon as I can. You just mind that leg. Yeah, thanks. Hey, you watch out, okay? It's ten below zero. Uh, wish me luck. Best of British luck. <laughs> Confirms nothing straight about pubs. Thanks, babe. I appreciate that. Oh, okay. I thought I was I could only go left and right. Never mind. I was just walking to my death in the Arctic. You know what? I'm just gonna lower the audio a little bit. There we go. Music's pretty good. Dig in the music. I'm sorry, I ruined the voice acting with that stupid pansexual joke. What a transition that was. I dig it. Oh, here, let me help. Oh, I think I can manage. No, honestly, it's fine. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Not as easy as it looks. Oh, dear. Let me give you a hand. Oh, no, no, no. I, I can do it. Um... It's easier with both of us, don't you think? Yes. All right. Um, on three. One, two, three. <laughs> That's my fault. There's too many books. Not a thing. That's what's in here. Actually impossible. Oh. Well, uh, there you go. Teamwork. Kind of wonder which will be the um, default at all. if you let both of them run out. Thank you. Right, um, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Oh, do you join me? Well, I don't think you'd have much luck finding another free carriage. Uh, all right, thank you. Your work? My students. They haven't learned the art of editing just yet. Still, someone's got to mark it. You're, you're marking all of that? I'm trying to. I can't complain. Keep interrupting her. student, my professor said to me, you don't expect me to mark all that, do you? So I won't complain now they're handing me all this. Well, um... Feel free to complain to me if it helps. <laughs> <laughs> it might. Thank you. I'm bored. I've got nothing else to do. Share your worries. Uh, long journey? Yes. All the way from Edinburgh. Where are you headed? Cambridge. And you are too. I can see that. Is it the shoes? No. <laughs> I prefer Priestley's ideas about weather patterns, personally. I beg your pardon? 
Your book. It fell out onto the seat. Oh, ah. <laughs> Would you mind if I take a look? Oh, yes. <clears throat> a formulation of complex cloud patterns. G.B. McNeil. We're J.B. McNeil, aren't we? I found it rather heavy going myself. You've... you've read it? Mm. I had to set this one for my undergraduates. Not that any of them probably read the bloody thing. The fact that you've got it on you makes me think you're not a student. You're lecturing too, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Likewise. Uh, how long have you been here? It'll be my second year. Uh, Peter, how do you do? Oh, Clara, how do you do? No, no. My bookmark. Oh, your uh, bookmark. Oh, oh, uh, don't worry. It's just a just a telegram. Oh, your uh, your telegram. It's Sorry. Nothing. It's nothing. Just something from my professor. Okay. I wondered if it would skip it, but no, Sorry, it does. I wasn't supposed to see that, was I? Does. Run out the clock if there's only one option. Fine, really. It's not fine, internal voice. Professors do love a telegram, don't they? Your sounds just like my old one. My office when you need to talk about your work, like we're still at school. I'm sure you're not really in trouble. Ah, you don't isn't know what that, I've done. Isn't it? All these old men having a final say over our future? Deciding whether our work's good enough? How it all rests on that one final paper we need just to get anywhere. I know. I, I, I know. I wish they'd actually come and see me teaching. I, I don't know why they don't. And I'd love to go and see other lecturers if I were them. I should do it more often. <clears throat> uh, you'd be welcome to come to mine. Yes, flirt. Oh, thank you. Uh, if there's space, perhaps. How many students make it to them? Uh, um, three. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm sure they're a lucky bunch. Well, um, maybe you'll see for yourself. Maybe I will. Oh, oh, there's a red light up ahead. I suppose I can get a little more work done. Um, let me know when we're coming up to the bright lights of Cambridge, won't you? I sure will. And the three students that are waiting uh, waiting for me. It's Bob's flirting at its finest. I am a charming SOB, I'll have you know. Is the background music loud enough? Can you all hear it clearly? It's very good. You know, let's raise the sound effects slightly. Come on. I assume we're still playing as Peter. Come on, Peter. Oh, can I? Okay, that's at any time, but you can't pull up like decision-making points. Interesting. Okay, I didn't know if there was an incidental animation for turning around too quickly. Can I open the box? We'll never be able to find out what's in the box, chat. Spoilers, it's Gwyneth Paltrow's head. Hello? There's a, there's a reference for you. Hello, is anyone here? Oh, look at... Does it work and down as well? Uh, stair climbing animations in games. Always awkward. You fool. It's a pull. Oh, no. Never mind. There's a push. Hello? Anybody here? Does it look like there's anyone there? There are the three students. So, 
Do come and see me if you have any questions on the lecture. One or two would be nice. You can leave if you like. It's over. Ort, do you have a question? I do, in fact. Uh, yes? Are we allowed to visit other people's lectures? Oh, oh, it's you. Um, I, I didn't see you up there. You decided to come. I did. Uh, liked it? I didn't think you were too bad. Huh. Well, I'm, I'm glad you thought so. The others don't seem to care so much. Make a run for it as soon as they can. Well, they're a loss. I wouldn't worry. People all seem a bit jumpy at the moment. I found it fascinating. Finding a way to trace the paths of all the world's clouds across the sky. It, it is fascinating, you're right. It's quite poetic, I thought. Oh, oh you were paying attention too. <laughs> in, in theory, it, it's great. It's um, <laughs> just need to prove it's possible. It's uh, taking a while. How dare you pay attention? Wonderful subject for your paper, I would have thought. <clears throat> yes, you would have thought. Well, I've had no luck with mine. If it's any consolation, just getting anything approved is a nightmare. Might be because you're a woman. Still, they can't say no once they found my beautiful subject. And like academia, you. kind of sexist. It's true, I am a, an excellent subject. <laughs> Hang on, Dr. Hamilton hasn't finished in here yet. Sorry about that, a bit too keen sometimes. Are they all here for your lecture? Yes. You'd be welcome to stay if you like. Absolutely. Oh, uh, well, why, why not? Oh. Thank you. Wonderful. I'll just go see to this mob and give you time to gather your papers. I like that it shows you the decision points that you've made. Uh, you can't see it, but the thing behind the game of dating Lego is just an autosave symbol. to interact with here. January 3rd, day 23. Normal OBSA. Observations, January 4th, day 24. Normal observations, same distance. Closer, 6.7 miles. Closer, 4.5 miles. No change. Closer. So it's a research station. I mean, it's in Antarctica. What else would it be, you idiot? Ignore me. Oh, that looks like a seismograph. Suddenly I stumble into the, the the thing, which I still need to watch, actually. I've just remembered. I've never actually watched it all the way through. Hey, Harry. Oh, I went back upstairs. I was too busy noticing that his arm was sticking through a wall. Deception point. I don't know if it's a fictional one or not. My knowledge of research centers in, the, in Antarctica is a little hazy, I will admit. I know about McMurdo, and that's basically it. This game's super depressing. Well, right now it's super cute. Uh, in one, so in the past, because this is the present of the game. In the past, we're flirting awkwardly with a fellow academic. Uh, in the present, our friend is, has a broken leg in a crashed plane. We're trying to find help. Dear Annie, it's getting uh, hard getting word out now. Locked down by the weather. Jones's condition has taken a turn for the worst. Last supply drop didn't bring enough medicine. He's upstairs in the lab now, poor chap. Still doing his observation work. Muttering, they're getting closer. Over and over. It's unsettling the other men now. We're trapped here and nobody knows what to do. 
Oh, actually, before I walk away, can I, like, flip this over? Okay, I can move it left and right, but it's not doing anything. Apart from just, you know, rocking the... Oh, well, I just, just noticed the, uh, the scantily clad ladies. Calm down, chat, calm down. Uh, well, I guess we'll just go to the building to the right. I'm going to see what these what these things are first. Uh, absolutely nothing that I can interact with. Although they look like dog kennels. I guess if they've got sled dogs, that would make sense. This is a water tower. That's Anton Lesser. Uh, Maester Kyburn from anyway, Game of Thrones. I recognise that voice. Okay. Nothing I can interact with in here. I mean, he's also been in other things, obviously, like uh, Father Brown, I believe an episode of Midsummer Murders, but I can't be sure about that one. Rattling off these TV shows as if anyone but a very select group of British people would know what they are. Is this examine the car or get in the car? Which is a, a, a mini, I think. Oh yeah, I should also say I'm playing the Switch version of this. Which is why, um, that was an invisible wall by the way. Uh, which is why like B is the interact prompt and why there's the Catch take him thing. <laughs> B to interact. Exactly, Ari, exactly. Hello? Hello, can anyone hear me? Come in. Hello? I said you can come in. Doors open. Peter. Oh, uh, hello there. Uh, sorry. Ah, good to see some work being done. Good show. My goodness, it's gloomy in here. No, do sit down. <laughs> you got my note, I presume? I'm just going to criticise you. I did. Well, I'm sure you've been very busy, which explains why I haven't heard from you, so... Seems I have to come and pay you a visit instead. Still plugging away, I see. Mind if I take a look? Uh, of course. <clears throat> and most of them are, are just uh, weather readings from my contact in South America. Not much to read yet. You will tell me when you've got something, won't you? As your professor, I do need to be kept abreast of things. We're going to go shy. You'll be the first to know, I assure you. I do hope so. Good grief! I'm not surprised you're getting nothing done with all this racket. What is it this time? Well... Oh. 
More of them today, I see, getting ready for another march, I suppose. I can't quite believe how many women are out there, but the more they let in, the less serious studying seems to get done in this place. Not built for academic work, I fear. There's your time period, chat. I really don't see why they want to join this band of Soviet sympathizers. Sounds like a peaceful protest. Not doing anyone any harm. Well, you know what I mean. Anyone who's for nuclear disarmament is anti-British, as far as I can see. I can't stand all this politics in my college. I wanted to talk to you about that, in fact. Yes, because learning, notably anti-political. That's right, sit down. What worries me is that all that is distracting people from the very good academic work we do here. This is where I really do need your help, Peter. Very happy to help, always. As you know, I have some friends in high places. I need to persuade these people that this college deserves to survive, deserves the reputation we've built over the years. Now, there's a lot of talk suggesting we're a soft touch. <laughs> a breeding ground for communists. I need to show we're serious about what we do, and what I need from you is something publishable. I do like how the buttons are in the places they are on the Absolutely. controller. That's, that's what I intend to write. I don't doubt it. Make sure it is good. Although, of course, that means that when the first option... So, like, like then, when the options come in at different times, the first option, if you don't press anything, is always the one that will be selected, because it'll fade out faster. So I guess that's how they pick a default option, in a way. It's just the one that loads in first. No, I'm going to make a note of the time of that. That might be a useful, like, verbal explanation rather than r writing the review itself. Uh, prompt layout, I guess we'll call it for now. And yes, Harry, clearly you're not cut out for academic work with your advanced degree. Something first rate. This is a great institution, Peter. I need to prove its worth, and I need you to prove yours too. I will. Of, of course I will. It's been three years now. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying? Not quite. Is this paper really taking up so much of your ample brain power? I mean, your position isn't necessarily permanent. Are you threatening me, my good sir? I'm sure you're hoping you don't have to stay in this dark little room forever. And I'm sure you'll rather leave it after a well-deserved promotion. Oh no, he's bribing us. Gotcha. That's all. Oh, uh... One more thing. The atmosphere here, things have been a little fraught. You must have noticed it's not just those protests that I'm concerned about. You know all about the business with the Cambridge Four, I presume. I, I don't, actually. You don't? A Soviet spy ring, recruited right here in Cambridge, passing secrets to the Russians for years, and we knew nothing about it. Did they actually know about this? Field day with it. They used to hang for things like that. That's a history lesson, chat. Well, thank goodness we don't do that anymore. Yes. Yes, we can't stop the world from moving on. They think the Cambridge Four might now be the Cambridge Five. They still don't know who the fifth member is yet. I need to be absolutely sure we are on our guard. So I'd like you to keep an eye out. You would tell me if you saw anything suspicious, wouldn't you? I can trust you on that. Absolutely. You can trust me. Glad to hear it. I'll see myself out. You carry on. Yes, spy master. Exactly. Uh, let's see, you're in the wrong way. Very sensitive.
It's Peter here. Peter. Wow, that was very specific. Are you there? Is there a doctor? Can someone come and pick me up? I could, but there's no doctor here. That was ve like, I started pressing A the moment I could, and that very nearly didn't have enough time to do that. That's incredibly tight timing, which is an accessibility thing, ignoring how sensitive that radio controller was and some of the text in the game. That's something to bear in mind. No one. No one is here. Well, there's, there's nobody here. The place is abandoned. I'll take the car keys, though. Hello? Uh, that's impossible. They have, to, they have to have someone stationed here all year round. Floyd, it's not just that the place is empty. Ev everyone's things are here. There are just no people. It's like, they, it's like they've all vanished. Well, they might be out on some kind of exercise, a research trip, something like that. Take them a vehicle and head it out. Well, maybe, but there's a vehicle here that's been abandoned, too. And wherever they went, they, they went in a hurry. Uh, there's footprints everywhere, and they left a mess in their living quarters. What kind of mess? Broken glass, uh, an overturned chair, that sort of thing. Like, like they've been fight? What, maybe? Or, or maybe there was an emergency, someone got sick or something. I... Oh, listen to me. I don't like the sound of this. I want you to get out of there as quick as you can, you hear me? Okay, I'll, I'll wrap it up and I'll come back. No, no, don't come back, Peter. It took you two hours to get there. You come back here and then where are we? Back to square one. Peter, listen carefully. I don't know for sure, but if it's possible that the base you're in might have been attacked. By whom? Attacked? Th this is a research station. Who would attack this place? Peter asking the real questions. Soviets, here. The Cold War hasn't been so cold around here recently. People are ticky. I've heard stories of shots being fired. And you could kill a dozen men down here and no one would know about it. You're being paranoid, Floyd. I've met the guys who work at Deception Point, mate. They run a tight ship. It's not like them to leave it. That rhymed. Deserted without telling anyone. And now you're telling me there are signs of a struggle? You can't rule it out. Well, then I'll come back and we'll make another plan. No. No, there's a chance I can raise someone from here, but if you come back and I can't, then we're back at square one. They'd have to have us both on their case. Look, I'll keep trying on the radio. You've got to move on. Get out of there quickly. What about you? First things first, don't worry about me. You will more help if you keep yourself safe. Oh, you're in the radio hut, right? Anything in there which could help tell where we are? For those of you who are unaware, the guy on the radio has a broken leg and is in a crashed plane. Peter left him to find help. There's a map here. A map? Right. Well, what's on it? I, I can see where I am. The base at Deception Point. Okay, okay, great. Anything more from there? A rock. There are more buildings to the north. Do you know what they are? I'm, I'm guessing they're not a threat like the Soviets. Don't worry, the Norwegians are allies. They'd help us. Just pray there'll be someone there when you arrive. You mentioned there was a vehicle. Have you got keys? Yep. Uh, got them. Uh, got them. Well, that's something. Let's hope they fill the tank up. Can you see a route on the map? Any landmarks to follow? Um. Up ahead, there's there's some kind of huge rock marked on here. A c cathedral rock. Looks like the highest point around. Maybe I'll be able to see the Norwegian base from there. Sounds like that's your first destination. Peter, can you see anything you can use as a weapon? I've got my hands. That's all. Well, got a chair. Don't go searching for one if there's nothing else in there. You don't know when they might come back. Get to the vehicle and head to that rock as quickly and as quietly as you can, all right? Just make sure you send those flares up so I can find you again. 
Floyd, are you still there? Uh, uh, sorry, I had to move my leg. Look, don't hang about, Peter. Get going, for Christ's sake. I'll keep broadcasting on this frequency when I can. Try and pick it up again when you get to the base. I will, and, and remember those flares. I heard you. Look, I've got to go. You just get to that cathedral rock. Over and out. I guess we're going to Cathedral Rock. Get there quickly and quietly. Goes immediately to an adapted mini. Notable for neither being swift or quiet. I do like the fact that you can activate the prompt from quite some distance away though. What if I run out of fuel, chat? What if I run out of fuel? What if I can actually run out of fuel if I take a like a really long route? So there's no lateral camera control. The camera is just kind of stuck behind Peter. Look, Ma, no hands. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, the paths on the on the on the ice on the snow. Thanks for picking me up like that. I'm absolutely soaked. But is it the path or is it a road? I must have looked a terrible state. You must be freezing. I don't know what happened. The bus just didn't turn up. Sorry, Mind control of this. Oh, I kind of. It's your peepers. Oh, I haven't got them all wet. I'm in control, don't, don't but worry. I don't have to move it. So this is your grand tome about the clouds. Would you, would you mind if I take a look? Of course. I mean, if you can understand. Them. Excuse me. I'm sorry, my goodness. What? Do you have a right to be here? You know, I have earned my place. What are you talking about? Maybe this is a bad idea. His handwriting's I don't terrible. Read them anyway. If you don't think I can understand them. No, 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 no. I, I meant they're probably illegible. I meant you might not be able to read them. That's all. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh sorry. Just, oh, I get that kind of thing a lot. I'm a bit sensitive. Crosswise. I thought I thought you morphed into my old professor there. My office. See me. Anyway, sorry. As I said, don't worry. Um, <clears throat> take a look if you like. Oh, uh, thank you. I wasn't sure about the game's art style to I begin with, but I'm really digging it. The lighting is fantastic. Well, the rest is probably classified. <laughs> Top secret. And where is yours, may I ask? May I read that? Stop it. You're driving, Peter. Don't read anything. I know. I will. I haven't had three years. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was a bit low. I'm just a bit tired at the moment. My proposal was rejected again yesterday. It needs more work. You can talk to me, you know. I know what it's like trying to find the right subject. I'm starting to wonder if I'll ever find it. Friend Molly's nearly finished hers, and here I am, not even at the starting line. Well, if you are anything like as successful as you are with your lectures, you'll be fine. Thanks, Doctor. I'll, uh, I'll just put you safe down here. Yeah, please don't sit on them again. They're important. <laughs> Cambridge. Even on a day like this, I do love this journey. In the rain, you mean? Yes. Well, I'm enjoying it too. Picking you up in this mighty steed. <laughs> oh, yes. He needs a big bus when you can have a car like this. Hey! Your presence tells me this is obviously better for picking up ladies. Oh, it's not well, that bad. Just about foot one, and if that's what you mean. Anyway, this bus will do just fine. 
thanks again for getting me out of the rain like that. It was... Don't mention it. No, uh, no it was an inconvenience. It, it won't happen again. Oh, I hope it will. That'd be nice, wouldn't it, chat? Lasting peace. Oh, congrats to Ted, getting five in the jump catch game. Yeah, so it's really weird. Sometimes you have to control the character, but then they crush it, they cross a trigger, and then it's all just cutscene. But there's nothing to tell you, it's just all just cutscene, so you're continuing to play the game until you realise that nothing you're doing is actually controlling the, uh, the thing. Okay, still not on the cutscene, still in control of the car. I figured there was another transition coming, which is why the camera was getting super close. That bus? What is that? Five, six in a row now? I don't know. I counted seven, maybe. It'll never happen again. I Are you sure? Oh, wait. Oh, look, there's Molly. Well, I, I haven't seen her in ages. Can you just pull over and we can say hello? She's an agitator. us all today. <laughs> Is this your handsome bus driver? I didn't call him that. Molly, this is Peter. P Peter, this is Molly. I've heard. Time to panic. Heard what? You'll be joining us, I hope. Joining you here outside? On the big march from Aldermaston, the atomic weapons factory. This time we're all going to start there, then march on London. Straight to Parliament. Tens of thousands of us. They'll have to listen to us this time. Four days walk, isn't that right? Seems a bit excessive. Worth it to save the world, don't you think? It's a waste of time, isn't it? If this is a waste of time, I'd like to know what really was worth someone's time. Oh, sorry. Uh, Peter, Molly is a lecturer at the college too, when she's not showing me the ropes or working on her opus. Oh, that's all done now. The paper's published. Oh, that's wonderful. It's good riddance too. I couldn't bear having it hanging over me any longer. Uh, congratulations. Well done. Thank you. I can focus on this for a while. Much more important. <laughs> Do you think this will make a difference? It jolly well has to, don't you think? Considering what's at stake, we're all under threat. I, I would have thought as a man of science you'd know all about it. Clara I'm mentioned you'd been studying radiation carried by the clouds. I'm a cloud person. Seems Clara's told you all my secrets. Well, I didn't know it was an official secret. No, no, it's, it's not. It's not. That's... It's fine. The radiation is what's terrifying. One True. hydrogen bomb could kill one million people in an instant. But, but then the radiation spreads and could kill millions more. Slowly this time. The British government is building more bombs when they should be doing the opposite. D disarming. Setting an example to the world. Still having this conversation f 70 years later. Wouldn't that let our guard down? Isn't, isn't that what the Soviets want? We're not naive, you know. We want the three sides to stop entrenching 60 years, sorry. All this posturing of theirs can only end one way. It's got to be unilateral nuclear disarmament. Otherwise, every day we are one step closer to the end. 
Oh, I agree, although with any luck they'll thrash it out. And what if they don't? Right, uh, I've got a lecture to give. Peter, would you mind if I had a lift for the last mile? Of course not. It was good to meet you, Peter. Good to meet you too. You're coming on the march, aren't you, Clara? I wouldn't miss it for anything. And you, Peter? Sure, why not? Wouldn't miss it. And in the meantime, I'm sure Clara will take very good care of you. She will? That's enough, Molly Shanahan. We'll be off now. You go and get your bus, Clara. Ding, ding. <laughs> ding, ding, chat, if you know what I'm saying. Impressive, isn't she? No more than you are. Oh, she, uh, she kind of sped up there to get to the door in time. So I guess the question is, chat, with all of these um, decision points, do you want me to play the game after I've finished it to look at the other to see what the other decisions would be? Bearing in mind, it's not supposed to be a terribly long game, so. Ooh, that zoom out combined with the music swell. Very good. Very good. Okay, I can't turn left or right. I can only go straight. Cool. You know what I'm going to say? I've got a pretty good idea. You need to get out more. I have to work. Oh, come on, old chap. I have to say, I've never really understood it. Here you are writing about clouds, and yet you never see the sky. You know, he has a point. What are you? I've got the crack in the curtains. I've got a lot of writing to be getting on with, Joe, so if you could... Well, let's see some of these words then, shall we? Come on, man or a mouse. Squeak. The way is top secret, is it? Very much a squeak. If you can trust me. <sighs> what do you think, Sam? I'm sure some of it is very good. Whoa, that was weird. I really have got a lot of work to do. It would seem so. Don't worry, old chap. Well, we'll hit that wall sometimes. It's all part of writing a paper. Oh, no, come on, don't be so modest, Sam. You dashed yours off in a few months. Well, maybe I was fortunate, but the point is... The point is, you set your sights straight and true, sat down and wrote the damn thing. It wasn't quite like that. Well, you did it, and now here you are, senior lecturer. Which makes two of us. <sighs> did Joseph not mention he got a promotion, too? It does tend to slip his mind for a few seconds occasionally. Well, you know what could be open to him if he gets this right and gets promotion? His own department. Eventually. Professorship. I can't reach those heights if you stay in this hovel for the rest of your life. Well, that's true, but I wouldn't My point was it... that saying to Peter it's all part of the process is just kind words. What we need to do is help our poor friend here be a man and write. Squeak. All right. All right, maybe I could use a little help here and there, but I don't need any pity. Oh, it's not pity. We believe in you. We just don't want to come back and have the same conversation. Just don't start again. That would be a disaster, wouldn't it, Sam? I think he's right, Peter. I know it's tempting to want to forget everything and start again on a blank page, but then you're risking making the same mistakes all over again. Are you risking a freak out? Better to see again? You've gone wrong, that's all. Let it help you. Good things might come of it. Good things like a promotion, I might add. Like Joseph says, don't start again. All right, then. What do you suggest, sir? I know what you need. 
Is it a drink? Go on then. What? What you need is some inspiration. Those three new girls. Oh. You know the ones. He's that guy. Undergraduates. They'll be at the Fox and Hounds this evening. Vomit. And so, my good man, shall we? Eight o'clock. See you there? No, no, I should work. You should come. But if you can't, that's one girl for Sam and two for me. We'll buy you a pint anyway. See you later, old chap. Good luck with it. We'll see you later. Don't be shy, Peter. Come along. Man or a mouse? Squeak. If it means not objectifying women. Oh, there you are. Seven o'clock, I thought you said. Oh, fashionably late. <laughs> Come sit, I got you some tea. Oh, great idea, thank you. Gross indeed. Uh, sugar for you? Uh, not for me, thanks. Okay. I assume that's interesting. Oh my goodness, you're soaked. Where's your jacket? Oh, uh, well, not on me, of course. Um, mind on other things. The paper, again? Still all consuming? I can handle it. Oh, I don't blame you. I've been thinking about it quite a bit too. Uh, you have? Ab about my paper? Yes. Oh, uh, okay, please, go on. To tell you the truth, I'm rather stuck. I gathered. Could you finish it for me, do you think? I thought you could handle it. Uh, I can, I can. It's... Well, it's, a, it's a beautiful idea. I think that's why it stuck with me. I know, I know. It, it could be something great. It could. It would be like <laughs> having a superpower. Being able to predict the paths of the clouds. A next step, control the weather. I wish. You could be cloud man. Are you taking this seriously? Absolutely not. Well, you could predict when it's going to rain, at least. <laughs> this weather reminds me of home. Was it this miserable all the time? No. Although Edinburgh always looked better in the rain to me, so that's why I choose to remember it. That's where you grew up, isn't it? That's right. I had a wee cottage in the Highlands, too. Our parents would take us up there once in a while. Us? Brothers and sisters? One brother. Older. Awkward! Are you alright? Yes. Sorry. Yeah, d die in the war? I didn't mean to pry. It's just, um... He That's was a bit in the wall. a motorcycle accident near the cottage when he was uh, 18. You fool! You pride! I'm so sorry. That's not your fault. It's life. Or, well, the opposite. <clears throat> How old were you when it happened? Uh, 16. But still, I have a lot of happy memories about him. At the cottage, she always used to get up early, go out into the forest, bring back armloads of wood, wood for the fire. It was sweet, really. The house was already warm for us. I like the sound of doing that. I could do that. Grab an axe, go out each morning. Almost didn't wood. notice the prompt. So you could be the woodsman, then. Oh, better than the cloud man. Stronger. Oh, no, I, I, I like cloud man. So... These clouds, you're a beautiful subject. What do you think you need? Oh, well, that's simple. More readings to work with. Hmm, sounds achievable. Well, in theory, yes, but they need to be first-hand, verifiable. All right. I take it it all has to be taken somewhere where the readings aren't affected by other factors? Hmm, you've got it. The thing is, it needs to be somewhere very remote, and I need to be there for a while, you see, to get enough readings. Mm, that makes sense. And I suppose the university budget doesn't exactly allow you to travel the world. Probably not. No. Maybe. What? Well, that cottage I mentioned, it's in the middle of nowhere, a highest place for miles around. And now would be the time to go with summer coming up. All summer free? Well, I'd have to check with my father, but... 
it's remote, it's just a little place in the woods with a log fire and not much else. But if that's what you're looking for... I am. That's just the kind of place I've been searching for. Promise me you're serious about this? Absolutely. Oh, I promise you that. Mm, promise me that. Anyway, no more past tense. No more past tense, eh? Hmm. Sorry, I didn't know how I felt about the cottage until I started talking about it. I shouldn't have said anything. You absolutely should have. It's a, it's a great idea. Mm, I'm full of them today. I think I'd be able to find somewhere else, you know. I must be able to. It's just... I don't know what my father would say about me bringing an unmarried man up there. Well, if That's you're fair. worried about your father, we That's don't fair. need to go. No, no, I'm not worried about him. The scandal. It's just not exactly Morden. Not exactly. Ringing the changes like malls. Without her father even knows what she's up to. You saw malls on that march, didn't you? Striding forward at the front. Quite the force of nature. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, this is awkward. Do you think the bus would make it there? The bus? That would cost a fortune. Not that bus, silly. <laughs> you know, your bus. Ding, ding. Oh, oh, <laughs> mighty steed. You idiot. Well, the roads are pretty rough. Would you cope with it? I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, she doesn't need to compare herself to Molly so much. Careful. We want to make it in one piece. She clearly wants we to do. be more like Molly. I didn't suggest the route. Just keep driving. I know it seems to go on forever. Just trust me. The cottage is only a few miles away now. How are you feeling about this? Oh, uh, uh, I'm fine. Okay, a bit strange, to be honest. Like I'm about to step back in time. I haven't been here in so long. I'm a bit nervous. I, I don't know. I, I don't quite know if things will feel different coming back. I Understandable. Hope you like it. Oh, I, I'm sure I will. And and thank you for asking your father. I know this is a big thing. Well, I told him I was taking a friend. I didn't mention you were a man. Am I a man? Oh, uh, I'm a thought I was a mouse. Do you think squeak, you squeak. Disapprove? Not exactly, no. Well, he is very old-fashioned, but... Well, thank you for coming along. Well, in, in, inviting me and coming along. Oh, no. I mean, without me, how would you find it for a start? I couldn't rightly let you run away all by yourself. So you're running away with me? Stop it. This is purely professional, isn't it? We could run away. Ditch the paper. <laughs> live in the woods. Who needs academia? You are being presumptuous. And money. You? No, I'm here to help. You'll need help with the equipment and recording all the data, all that. I couldn't leave you stranded up here in the middle of nowhere. I'd, I'd build us a shelter, be the man of the woods. Oh, he's back, is he? The woodsman. I'm telling you, I could do that. Just be the kind of man who remembers to fill up the tank when we're off to the middle of nowhere. Well, I am. I hope I am, anyway. I hope I th this isn't a big mistake. I think I am. Oh god, did I fill up the tank? This is the BBC. Here is the news. This is the BBC. Here is the news. The talks in Washington over the renewal of the Antarctic Treaty were in deadlock last night, with Soviet Russia threatening to walk out of discussions early. The new president, Lyndon B. Johnson, made an impassioned speech during which he criticized the Soviets' aggressive stance and reasserted the need for compromise. The president described the Russians as playing a lethal hand and asserted that continuing to do so would risk leading the world into war. Cheery! And now for some light music.
Also some light time and space travel. I might have to buy the soundtrack if it's available separately. Gosh dang, it's good. Hey, I've got your, uh, was it DoorDash? I don't know what the thing is. Uber Eats, Deliveroo, Just Eat. There we go, one of those three things works. Thought it was a bit weird you asking for Froyo all the way out here, but hey, I've got it. Couldn't get Ben or Jerry to, uh, to swing by though. And I've had Ben and Jerry's yogurt before. It's a Soviet base. I don't know if they still make it, but... Also, that's a problem! Suddenly I'm playing Canarium. No, that was an American base, I think. <laughs> I have a rock! Kind of stuck to my hand, but I have a rock. There's no one here either. Oh, a note. Father's on his way up. Said he'd like a word too. Such a big boy now. What happened today? It's not your fault. I just want you to know that. These boys, well, I bet they're just trying to make you feel small because they're feeling small inside. Don't you listen to them, all right? All right. Here he is. Getting bullied. Sleep well. What do you say we carry on with making that rabbit hutch tomorrow, eh? That'd be nice. <clears throat> He's still awake. He is. No more tears, eh? No, no. He's... He's settled. Good, because I can't handle tears. Go on. It's all right. We'll be fine. Well, if you're sure... <laughs> Good night, Pete. Night. Oh, Peter. What are we going to do with you? Your mother won't like me saying this. But it's true. You've got to learn to stand up for yourself. Next time, you hit them back. You hear me? Oh, hey, toxic masculinity. Eye for an eye. That's what I've always said. And that's why I'm blind. Better still, if you see it coming, you get in there first. Getting bored is the first step to becoming an ac academic. It's just a, for like a four-step process. I know it sounds hard. Get bullied. But go to university. Hard. Question mark. Not profit. Let's to learn that now rather than later, eh? Don't profit, sorry. There. No, I don't want to hear another word. Long day tomorrow. So not another peep, all right? 
Good boy. Good talk, Papa. Rather good talk there. <laughs> Great parenting. You have a problem, son. But this is about me. There's no globe there. Oh dear. That did not end well. Good night, Pete. Sorry. Oof. Oof for Irene having to put up with Reg. But yes, the cycle of abuse. Can I not read this note? Dang it. Obviously, feeling a little insecure. As most bullies. Or like most bullies. See, what you do, chat, is if you think they're going to bully you, you murder them. And then they can't bully you. And that's how toxic masculinity wins. That's a lie. Just don't listen to anything I just said. That was clearly sarcasm. I do not endorse casual murder. Or murder of any kind, really. I'm a pacifist. Ah. 
Ow. What? Nothing. Damn kettle's hot, that's all. Watch out. It is on the stove, you idiot. Mm. You're right. What's that? Oh, yes. Have you got the tea on? Ah, oh, water's boiling. Hope there's enough. So I'll just burn my hand on Clara. Well, don't worry about me. Just make sure you have what you need. What are you talking about? Like, it's fine. Nothing. I pressed the wrong prompt. I didn't realize there were going to be two. Sound like nothing. Come in, Clara. Do you read me? Look, I'm sorry about last night. I... I didn't mean for you to have to sleep on the sofa. Oh, oh, don't mention it. It's a, it's a very comfy sofa. Oh, um, I'm glad. I thought you'd be annoyed. It's not the same for us, is it? What, what do you mean? I know what, what most of the men at Cambridge are like. They can take home whoever they like and they can tell all their friends about it afterwards. Like. They just get a slap on the back and a well done, old chap. For us, it's, it's different. If you don't keep quiet about it like Molly doesn't, then you're a girl with a reputation. All right, look, it's, it's early. I'll get us some breakfast in a bit, shall I? <sighs> that sounds nice. It didn't have anything to do with you, that's what I mean. I see, just men in general. <laughs> Right, I'm generalizing. It's just, I suppose I've had friends at school, um, girlfriends who play into this whole thing too, the whole parade of it. They didn't understand my interest in science. I thought I was a bit. I'm aware of a horrendous idealist. Not weird, by the way. Well, only in the right ways. Thank you. Sorry, I'm just in an odd frame of mind. I thought the work might help keep my head straight. Maybe a walk would help you. No, no, I, I like it. I'm enjoying it, really. I want this to be good. That's one thing I definitely got from my father. It's perfectionism, for better or worse. Hard to live up to. Well, it's good to be ambitious. And what's this if it's not ambitious? That's true. Tracking clubs. Speaking of which, there's something I noticed. Show me. I've just looked at the latest batch of atmospheric radiation readings. Don't worry, everything seems to be moving in ways we're expecting. It's it's all consistent. It's just it's just consistently higher too compared to the ones we took a few months ago. He's got new equipment, maybe. That would explain why everything's jumped at once. Well, I'll double check everything again now. It's just something I noticed as I glanced over them. It'll be good for me to focus on something like this anyway. I'll get my head down. Just take care of yourself. Oh, don't worry about me. Look, why don't you look around? There's plenty of books to read. Oh. Why not, if you're sure? Apparently there's only enough data for one person to look over and she's decided it's her. I turn the record player on to get a sweet DMCA strike. Robbie, how long do we need to stay quiet? Pa said sit here until dinner's ready. When will is be ready? I don't know, 10, 20 minutes? Uh, Robbie will be her elder brother, I assume. Or I look at... Oop, what's that? Dear Ma, happy... Happy Mothering... Oh, God, that's really sensitive. Happy Mothering Sunday. Sorry the car's in such a state. Oh, nope. Clara wanted to make it. Ah. Oh. Dear Ma, Rob is being mean, and he wouldn't help me with the card. I love you. Wow, that is incredibly sensitive. Good grief. I'm gonna... Like, I'm just... I'm just tapping the stick, and it's... Wow. That's, you know what, I'm going to make a note of the time just in case it becomes something I want to conclude in the thing. And we're out. 
But yes, going back to the thing, I, I know that my pacifism is coming from a place, a place of privilege and extreme idealism. Just want to leave the world a better place than I find it, you know? Clara 311, Christmas age 7. Robbie 45, Christmas age 9. Clara 411, age 12. Robbie 58, age 14. Clara 57, age 16. Robbie 62, age 18. Americans were not really capable of being pacifists. Hey, you, you said it. I didn't. Uh, anything over here? Nope. Robbie, good luck with your studies. Oh, great things are ahead of you. I know you'll do. Oh, good grief! I know you'll do as proud. Pa, Robert McCarrick, nineteen fifty-three. Clara, Clara McCarrick, nineteen fifty-five. And Foundation Engineering, Engineering Science. Now I can do the re the record player. Are ye? Hit me up with that sweet DMCA, please. Oh, well, look at this. I crave it. Oh, that whole thing. It'd feel popular. Need to put something on. Sorry, there's not a lot of choice. We didn't want much music. Is this one all right? Oh, it's wonderful. I love it. You're right. I can't concentrate. Where's that tea? Did warn you. Are you all right? Oh, that, that, my hand. It's hot. I said it was hot. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Hold it up gently. What are you doing? Helping. Putting something on this bandage. What? Honey. Natural Honey. antiseptic. It helps, trust me. Here. Here, show me your hand. Oh, that was silly of me. There goes the tea. Is there something else, Clara? No, it's... It's silly. Come on, I'm, I'm sure it's not. It's been a long time and I... I should be over it by now. But it's my brother. I dreamt about him last night. Hey, it's grief. I see. You, you thought you might feel odd here, didn't you? Yeah, but it's strange. I, I feel guilty too. You don't need to feel guilty. I've been forgetting him. That, that doesn't make you guilty of anything. And now I'm here again and here he is. And everything I look at. We don't need to stay if it's too difficult. No, I, I'm happy I came. I, I should have done it sooner. I'm not imposed all this on you. So good. I'm here to be imposed I wonder upon. wonder if I'd be where I am today if he was still around. You know, Cambridge and the whole thing. Does that make me a terrible person? No. No, but I... I don't think I'd follow. You'd have been successful no matter what, wouldn't you? I love my father, you know. Your father? What's he got to do with it? I owe him everything. My interest in physics, engineering, maths, everything. My life. He'd take me to all the museums, make little experiments with me in the shed. He was an engineer. Is your entire family dead, Clara? But when I was so little, before he could really let me play with anything, my brother got all that attention. They came out really harshly. When he died, it all came to me. His passions. Uh, they all became mine. You were doing great things with them, too. Mm, thank you. I just wonder sometimes whether he'd be showing an interest in a girl if my brother hadn't, you know. I just... Would I have just been forgotten? No. 
No, I'm sure not. And the worst of it is sometimes I feel... Oh, it's, it's horrible, I can't even see it. I'm trying to pause to raise the volume. To say anything but I can't! Sometimes I feel grateful it happened. Otherwise I wouldn't have got this chance. Isn't that awful? No. No, I understand. There. That should hold it. Thank you. Here. Do you think you could manage to hold on to me? Time to dance. Also, she's got moves. Like, she's got game. That was smooth. Yeah, I was trying to raise the voice volume. Or I guess master volume and then lower everything else. Uh, you know what, let's do that. But that was more cutscene than anything else, I feel. Time to have another radio discussion, I guess. With uh, with Floyd. Nope. Just going to walk away from that. See if there's anything over here first. There is not. Never mind. How are we doing, chat? I notice my, <laughs> my view count keeps going up and down. It's very... Upsetting. Floyd, Floyd, can you hear me? Okay, that's a bit too loud. Mistakes were made. You're safe. Where are you? You didn't run into any Soviets then. I'm guessing you found the Norwegians. Tell me they've got a doctor, mate. This leg is killing me. Floyd, the base I'm at. It's not Norwegian. It's Soviet. Can you repeat that? This is a Soviet base. No. No, no, no. Wait, wait, how are you getting this message out then? Have you been captured? No, no, I'm fine, Floyd. I, I, I don't think there's anyone here either. It's freezing, everything was powered down. I, I, I think I just had to restart the generator again. I don't understand. Are we way off course? No, no, it makes no sense. Followed the map, right? I just followed my instincts. But there's another map here. Ooh, I like maps. Maps are cool. Unlike swooping. Swooping is bad. Can you see anything that might be the Norwegian base? Well, yes. Yes, I, yes, I can see it. I can see the flag. Oh, well, at least I'm not going crazy. And at least you haven't been attacked yourself. What's the terrain like? Is it a straight shot? It looks like it's between two mountains. On the other side of a bay. There's a ship marked on there too. Christ. Well, if there's a ship, at least that means the base is pretty well supplied. Well, there's something else on the map. Some area shaded out past the mountains. What does that mean? Is it dangerous? I don't know, mate. It could be anything. Floyd, I, I can see if I can find some medicine for you. Bring it back to you. No, 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 Peter. That makes no sense. We'd still be stuck out here. I haven't been able to raise anyone on the radio. Our only hope is for you to find a friendly out there. You need help, Floyd. We don't have any option. Peter, I'll be honest with you. If you come back here now, we might not make it. Do you understand? I don't. It's better, better being there to help you. What if I run out of... Floyd totally sent me away because he knew he was going to die out there fuel on the way to the Norwegians. So you drive as far as you can and then you get out and walk, Peter. That's insane. If you could see this map, you'd know how insane it was. Look, get it together. This is it. I don't like it any more than you do, but you're a grown man, Peter. If you don't do this, we're both done for. You hear me? We are dead. Peter, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here, all right? All right, I I'll go, I'll go. Ah, good man. Good man, you can do it. Now you know where you're going. Uh, I'm, uh, 
I'm heading for those two mountains, and it's, um, it's the other side of the bay, past that. What? And did you say there was a ship? Yes, yes, a ship on the other side of the bay. Mountains, bay, ship, say it back to me. Mountains, bay, ship. Not sure that needed prompts for it, but okay. I'll save the flares for when you're on your way back, all right? Mate, we'll have a little party. <laughs> yes, we will. Just, just hang on, all right? I will, mate, I will. I'll try and catch some entertainment on the radio. Some of those beeps, maybe. You heard any of that? Yes, yes, I can pick it up here, too. No idea what it is. Aliens. No better way to piss off a stranded pilot, though, I'll tell you that. Good luck, mate. Good luck, Floyd. It's amazing how I did all of that without the push to talk system. That's just an open mic, I guess. The movement's not great, I'll be honest. It's, it's very wibbly. It feels wibbly. It's hard to describe. But he kind of walks like he's drunk. Running out of fuel. That's not good. I guess we're about to walk across the ice. Oh, the snow. I have to admit, I'm a bit nervous getting into the passenger side. Nervous? Why? I've seen you driving. Charming. You've been spending too much time with Joe, I'd say. Only joshing, old chap. Right. Let's see if we can solve this. Cryptic one this time. Two down, eight letters, begins with U. Builder goes mad during door removal. Unhinged. I know that one. Unhinged? Ah. Now I'm pleased I took the lift with you. U N hinged. <laughs> That's how you spell you sure it. We wouldn't be happier in the English department. It's the only reason I buy these things now. Although there was that one story I wanted to read. Can you believe it? About that Molly girl. I haven't heard anything. What story? Oh, no. You've been away in Scotland again, haven't you? Lucky you. The lecturer, Molly Shanahan, got taken away yesterday on campus. Caused a right stir outside college. Black cars blocking the road. Oh. Plain clothes police, or so it looked. Photographs here on page two. That doesn't sound good, chap. We're a known I associate. Uh, she's the, the, the one that wears the red jacket. Well, I don't know about that. This one could be red. Bit of a giveaway if it was. But you know her. She's a friend. Well, uh, a friend of a friend. <clears throat> good Lord. You're not mixed up in all this, are you? Duh. You know politics isn't my thing. Too much writing to do. It says here she's rumoured to have links with the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. <clears throat> Miss Shanahan, lecturer at Newhall College, Cambridge, was known to be associated with the CND and other anti-nuclear weapons organisations, all of which have come under suspicion since the marches on Whitehall earlier this year. She has been charged with handling data sensitive to Her Majesty's government and passing that data to contacts in Moscow. I can't believe it. It's going to make the professor jumpy. Not the reason he wanted the university in the papers. <laughs> Not at all. And Questions yet, remain over whether publicity. She's working alone and how the university deal with a fallout. Well, same as usual, I suppose. Just carry on. Molly and Clara were good friends. I hope this won't come back on her. Oh, so Clara's that uh, friend you mentioned then? She is. Yeah. She'll be worried sick. Look. Despite all this newspaper talk, it's only questioning. I wouldn't get too worked up about it. I'm not getting worked up. But I will. I just 
That's Don't who I like am. The idea of everyone spying on each other, that's all. Well, of course, I hate to see it, but you know, nothing to do with us, old chap. You're right. You're right. It'll blow over soon, I'm sure. I wouldn't be so sure. What if this is just the start? All right, then. Let's take another look at this one. Four across, nine letters, begins with T. Oh. This is what I am when you're driving. Terrifying. Rhymes with verified. Okay. I get the message. I got it! I'll write that one down. If I should live long enough. No, 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 no. Keep going. No. Come on. Oh, please. I'm two for two with the crossword um, answers. No, no, no! Yeah, that's an issue. And now we walk. We have no food, no water, because you, you shouldn't drink the snow because it'll lower the body temperature too quickly. Or, you know, it'll lower the body temperature. And no shelter. Is this really state of the art technology? It weighs a ton. Come on, you can do it. I know. It's just what I could cobble together with a meager budget. I just wanted to make sure that if I was carrying the kitchen sink, it was a scientifically useful kitchen sink. I've been meaning to tell you, I, I heard from Molly just before we left. I, I hadn't heard anything since she was arrested. Me neither until now. Well, it's been awful, as you'd expect. I'm in you, Clara. A question like that in a so non-sexual manner. She sounded a bit shaken. Didn't sound like her at all. So is, is she still under arrest? Well, that's what she was calling about. She was being released without charge. Her reputation's tattered, though, let's face it. Oh, well, that's a relief. Well, it's better than her still being locked up, that's for certain, but something was a little off about it. You suspect something's going on? Foul play? Something must be going on. Hang on, just need to make a note of something. Um... I can't put my finger on it. She wasn't being very clear. She wasn't sure if she wants to come back to college. I, I don't know when I'll see her again. Sounds like it's really affected her. Hmm. It's just... I hope it doesn't ruin things. Her academic career, everything, you know? So many people think that where there's smoke, there's fire. It's bloody unfair. It's true. You don't know she's not coming people back. People suck. No, but I know there are people who'd much rather she didn't. No, you chat. You're lovely. I wouldn't like to be in her shoes, that's for sure. This cold war suddenly feels a bit real, doesn't it? They call it a cold war, of course, but when you're caught up in it, I don't think it feels all that cold. What is going on with your hand, my dude? I mean, my hands do that naturally, but I think that's a bug. You know what? I'm gonna write that down. I like when I, how when I pause at OBS is like, ah, paused game, freak out, bitrate, what is it? I keep pausing it, by the way, because this game is just basically an interactive cutscene. What is a bit rape but a miserable part of secrets? Why is that quote not applicable? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Shall I send it up? 
Go for it. I'll never tire of doing that. Taking all your readings? I've just completed mine for the day. No, you've just sent them into the sky. Oh, very efficient. I'd expect they have a chap. Oh, well, you know me. Ready for the walk back? Absolutely. Absolutely. Although, there's something I want you to do. To make fun of your Lego, right? Sounds intriguing. Follow me, you'll see. Oh, hit me up with the, hit me up with the good news first. I like the punishment. Uh, of course. Come on. Together we can make it to the top. Here. Put one hand here, it'll help you up. Oh, if I can do this as a girl, I can do it again now. Your parents allowed you to climb this. They didn't know. My brother took me. They didn't know, chat. They didn't know. Okay, and the bad news? Those readings, Peter. I've been wanting to talk to you about them. Are they consistent with what they've been reporting in South America? They're not as high, but they're high. They just can't get the weed, Your you know? still work. It doesn't disprove the model. We can still plot the paths of the air currents. But still, something's not right. Oh, that's fine. Let them sleep. We can just hang out and chat and Saturday maybe play D and D then. Keep down. Ah, uh, woo! Oh, what is it? That's correct. It's an eagle. Never mind. Seen one in years. Amazing things. It's caught something. That's all good. This is special. I thought they were extinct, poisoned by pesticides. She's come out just for us. A new life, eh? Oh. Wonder if we'll see anything like that again. Wonder where it came from. An egg. Just the thought. Also, chat, you can't see it because it's behind the um behind the webcam, but there's like this Random white square at the top left that I've been keeping my eye on, my eye on the whole time, and nothing's ever happened with it. It's just there. Also, I've just noticed that the webcam is not in the corner as I thought it was. I am so sorry to everyone that that's been bothering. Curse you, snapping. Curse you. I think that's better. I was the call back to Silent Spring? Question mark? It makes me think, where did it come from? I mean, the extra radiation. Where did that come from? Are you sure it's not a quirk of all this new equipment? Oh, I should take my wellness break soon. I've just noticed the time. So this is originally an iOS game. Pretty sure that white dot is where you tap to pause the game. Oh, thanks, Jack Lockjaw. Also, welcome to the channel. It's been driving me crazy just checking it constantly. That does explain a lot. Thank you very much. All the instruments Our feet were on the floor. Giving inflated readings. Well, they can be if they're on a weather balloon. Take my hand. There you go. Right. Right. Let's try and work it out. I'll get to the next transition and take my wellness break, chat. All right. So, what do we know? 
We know the readings are at their height. Lurkins is close to the beginning, also at work, so kept a low profile doing stuff and things. No worries. No, Lurkins is totally valid. You never, Nell never has to in, like type in chat here if they don't want to. This down in the southern hemisphere. I appreciate the support. And not as high here. Uh, all, all, all right. the same. It's being diluted somehow, is my thinking. Uh, mixed in by all the currents. That would make sense. Well, it's it's heading from the south up to the north. I'm here to make terrible jokes, nonetheless. What a happy chap. Uh, she was just in the ground, then. Or maybe obscured by the terrain. It's very hard to tell. Where am I going? Ah! Thank you for the uh, for the gifted subs, happy chap. Your model of the air currents. That would prove that's what's happening. I should. I feel I should explain. Uh, I've turned off um, the uh, alert box because I'm reviewing. I'm playing this to review for gamer dating. Uh, so there's no there's no audio. There's no sound. There's no sound to the alerts, but the graphic still plays for uh, Capogen because that's a different thing entirely. But thank you for the uh, thank you for the gifted subs, everyone in chat. If you've just been gifted a sub, enjoy. And thank you for the follow, Jack Lockjaw. I've just I've just seen that pop up on the on the events list. Thank you so much. It really helps the channel out. But there's this general movement north. And makes me feel valid. I think we need to find out where this radiation came from in the first place. We've been running the model forwards all this time, but our starting point has always been South America. I, I could look again at the model, perhaps. Oh, and Chris, thank you for the... Differently, you mean. Welcome to the channel. Run it backwards. See where these air currents originate. The radiation has to be coming from somewhere. Somewhere further south. South of the Antarctic Circle, maybe? To my hair for, if not to validate? Exactly, you get it. Wha whatever this is, people are going to want to hear about it. I hope so. I think we might be onto something. I love how emotive. Oh, happy chap! You didn't have to. Thank you so much. Uh, I love how emotive the faces are, without being super cloud, defined. <laughs> bigger than clouds. Although I know you can't believe such a thing. Ah, well, I might give it everyone, a chance. Everyone has just it been gifted be a sub. Enjoy your emotes. There is a sub-only channel in my Discord server if you want access to that, but it's not terribly active. Although, if you've never been subscribed, we could be talking about anything in that channel. You know, anything at all. And then transition to Peter walking between the two mountains, maybe? I just want my wellness break, if I'm being honest. Uh, uh, look at this. Having hiked mountains, I know the feeling this jet this, this creates. Hey, hold on. Just want to get a bit higher. I know a spot. Love hiking mountains, me. I don't know why I said it like that. I just enjoy, really enjoy mountain Wouldn't walk hiking, here, climbing. Cold. Okay, that was a bit of a jarring transition, but I need to take my wellness break. YouTube, I'm going to pause the recording here. It'll just be a jump cut uh, in terms of me because the pause menu is unanimated. Is not animated, I should say. Should probably remember to unpause the recording. Also, I've just realised I'm playing this on the Switch, which is a which does have a touch screen. Not many people seem to realise the switch the Switch screen is a touch screen. Um, so after the stream, I might see if I can tap that square on the top left. Cold. The very idea. To uh, see if it works as a pause. Did I just skip an entire section by pausing the game? Oh, wait, no, it was here. Right. It's beautiful, isn't it? Nope, I, 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 I did. It's a beautiful idea. It would, it would be a beautiful thing. It would be, if you wanted to do it. It would change the whole focus of the paper. You might be needing some help. Would you like to help me with it? Writing it? Well, of course. 
It could be that beautiful subject I was talking about. Oh, so now it's yours, is it? <laughs> of course not. But... It could be ours, though. This beautiful thing. How much of the game did I just skip? If you wanted it to be. Come here. Ooh, lighting issue. Let's skip anything. Oh, good. I was concerned. It's just a bit jarring. Get to those trees down there. If we run, <sighs> here it comes. If I push you, if it hits us, you could take my jacket. Promise me that. Switch is Promise cold. you that. Let's go then. Oh, th thank you, Jack Lockjaw. Thank you. It's always the issue when I'm playing games to review them. I'm like, oh god, did, did, did it break and did I skip a large chunk of the game? I'm going to play this off stream anyway to check out this isn't all the, the way routes. Back, is it? Um, I know another way around. Don't worry, we'll get less wet. So it doesn't feel like there's Wait. that much choice. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Yes, but slow down. I mean the new idea, the paper. <laughs> yes, yes, it's great. It's great, really. Finally. Okay, I, I wasn't holding the thumbstick for a chunk of that. The more like flavors and choices. Yeah, I, I guess with the, with the dialogue, it's just the delivery of the line and p particularly the line itself. And obviously, because I, I could have said like, the view is beautiful and the idea is beautiful and all of that. I'm sufficiently intrigued to play off stream though to, to figure out like what happens if I introduce myself as the with the the mortar board instead of without the mortar board and brag about the class size and choose to go to the fox and hound. So that's not what you see in the in Antarctica traditionally. Um, with the boys or with the lads rather than staying and work. But I've, I've played a fair number of narrative games on and off stream, mostly off stream, to the point where. Obviously, a lot of them, they're mostly the same, just with slight differences. It's so much better at night, don't you think? Oh, it's beautiful. Looking cute there, Clara. I saw them setting up this afternoon. It was all chaos and scaffolding, but now it's more, oh, I don't know, um, exciting, I suppose. Not just all that. This. This. You realise this is a big occasion. Rafnuf. Classic date location, it's the, the Rafnuf. You've taken me out, Doctor Hamilton. No. <laughs> At night, in public. Not working, not hiding a wee anywhere. We're out courting. <laughs> <laughs> We're stepping out, chat. Cuddly toy. Oh, you know me so well. Go on then, boys and their toys. Watch this. Get grief, what are you doing? As you said, <clears throat> courting. Are you now? Shoving a gun through my hand. Ten shots, sir. There you go. Knock down all the cans, the bear's yours. Or more likely yours, Mom. Who knows yeah, what's this up? This one's more for him. Not many men can do what I'm about to do. And you have good <laughs> aim, do you? My knight in shining armor. Absolutely not. Absolutely. <clears throat> absolutely. Only the Sith deal in absolutes. Well, I, I, I always thought I'd be good in the army. If only books hadn't gotten in the way. Go on then, prove yourself, army man. 
Well, now, maybe I had you all wrong. The new Call of Duty looks a bit different. But you really don't need to prove anything. That's it, my lad. Only another five of them. <laughs> we'll make a soldier of you yet, Pete, my boy. Now, what's he up to, cheeky little bugger? Ah! You missed him. Why would I shoot the bird? Can I turn this on my father? That's uh, that's enough, I think. What's the matter, Peter? <clears throat> I'm fine. <sighs> uh, PTSD is the matter from an abusive childhood. Clara? Unrelated, but this is making me want to play the path again, uh, the park again. That's not a happy game. Yeah, I guess sniping the bird is Reg's preferred outcome. Are we in America? I wouldn't have said pegged that we were in America, but okay. You know, with the British cast. That's the that's the not nice noise. Uh oh. No. Radiation. My God, what's going on here? Nuclear weapon silo? I do really enjoy... Enjoy is the wrong word. Appreciate, I guess, the depiction of dissociation in this. Just had to look, but hello. Hi, Catholic. Uh-oh, CCCP? That's the... We're in a Soviet base. It's handy that they have to announce the nationality of the base in Antarctica. Floyd. Floyd, are you there? Are you there? Oh, there's the boat. I don't have any. Uh, the lioness has won. I'm sorry. There we go. There was barely any fuel. I've, I've walked all this way. Are you all right, Peter? Where are you? At some kind of base. Not the one we're looking for. Another base? Are there any people there? There's me. There were lots at the... Unfair. Uh, Clara was there. What the hell? Mate, are you keeping it together? No, 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 no there was no one. Just just a mine. A, a radioactive symbol. A mine? God, where the hell are we? Can you see anything else? F Floyd. Floyd, I can see the ship at last. <laughs> uh, mountains, bay, ship, like we said. I can. I, I I can see it on the far side of the water. And there's a a boat, a small boat on this side. 
Just kill me, but what else can I do? Except stay here. Yeah, and that'll kill you too. You don't want to give up this close to the finish line. I'm counting on you. We're not gonna die out here. You can count on me. <laughs> yeah, Floyd. Bad news about my mental condition. Please listen to me. You know where you are now. This is the last push. You've made it this far. I know you can do it. Floyd, I'm starting to question whether you're even alive still. Hello? I'm here, I can do it. I just need to warm up. No, no, no. If you hang around, we've got a problem, mate. There's a, there's a storm coming your way. I know because I'm in the thick of it now. You don't want to get caught out on the water when the weather hits. Look, I know you're tired, Peter. But if you don't get moving now, you'll never cross the water. Who knows when the storm will clear? You've got to leave now. It's all I've got, Floyd. You know that. I'm giving it everything. Then give it more. You have to. Please, Peter. I don't want to die here. No, that's that's totally fair. I wouldn't want to die in a plane in the middle right. of Antarctica either. All right. Yes, I'm ready. Go on, mate. Go! Get out of there! Go on! The real villain in this game is Peter leaving all of these radios turned on and like running all of the generators dry. Peter, good to see you at last. You look well. We were just talking about you, old chap. Here. Yeah. Got the first round in to celebrate. Oh, thank you. Heard the paper's going shockingly well at last. It is, thank you. John, your eminent professor mentioned it. Gather you showed him an early copy. Word spreads when something's good, that's all. Never seen the man so delighted. So, <clears throat> I propose a toast. That's the Twitch motto. To Peter. To Peter. To me. May this be one foot inside the club. What club? Do I want to be in this club? All in all, I hear it's been a very productive summer. Got everything you wanted in Scotland. It's an inspiring place, yes. Very beautiful. <laughs> oh, she is. She is. What are you talking about? Uh, my hands are clean. I just mentioned Clara. Uh, that was it. Clara, good man, Peter. Like I said, inspiration. Sorry. Shouldn't I have said anything? Stop being a-holes. I'd rather it was kept quiet. I, I don't want anyone getting the wrong idea, that's all. Clara's been helping with the readings and... Helping? What? A bit of note-taking here and there? Filing? She's been doing more than that. Oh, I'm sure she has. Well, I thought it was more, you know, assisting them writing. I want to kick them both in the testicles. Clara's far too clever for just note-taking. I didn't mean to give you that impression. Oh, I see. So wouldn't that make it a joint paper? Sam, I think we all know that Peter is the real professor in waiting here. I think he knows better than anyone how much he put into it and who wrote what. Isn't that right, Peter? Of course. And he's well aware his chances of promotion would be considerably lower if he'd only done half the work in collaboration. I see where you're going with this. Of course I'm aware. <laughs> of course. Fine. This is awkward. Collaboration isn't a bad thing. No, I agree. Unless, of course, you're that girl Molly, collaborating with a communist. Well, I think the word you're looking for is collusion. Well, didn't work out too well for her either way. Shame, really. I'd have happily colluded with her. Oh shut my up. god, dude, just shut up! You're right, you're right. Too complicated. Walk off of that pier, please! Few strings attached. It's having the KGB and MI5 watching through the curtains that would really put me off. She did make herself rather visible. Has anyone heard from her since? Well, she hasn't come back for the start of term yet, apparently. Beyond that, who knows? A vanishing lecturer. Someone must know something. You're not worried, are you? You've got no secrets to hide? I just think she was unfairly singled out. It's all water under the bridge. New term. Things will have settled Unlike down. Joe. Fresh start and all that. My thoughts exactly. New term, new students. Don't say it. Speaking of which, what do you think of those two over there? <laughs> He can't help it. Them? Very nice, I'm sure. 
Very nice. Hold this, will you? Are you leaving us? Don't be so possessive, Peter. What are you, the wife? It's like you said, Sam. Never too late for a fresh start. Can I just push him in the river? Do his all favor? Hearty congratulations on the paper. You always had that passion, much more than the rest of us. <laughs> and this sounds like that old conundrum, women or work. Just don't forget your years of struggle. Don't miss this opportunity now. Wouldn't want you missing out on what you deserve. Thank you. Right. I'm off to get what I deserve. Don't wait up, chat. A kick in the testicles, a please? Race, Joe. A slap Absolutely on the face? Absolutely shocking. He keeps doing that, doesn't he? How does he keep doing it and getting away with it? That is the important question. I guess the slightly clunky movement is explained by the fact that it was an iOS game. Nationalism on, and sexism. Pay as one start the other end. Again, that's your Good point. Problem. Pick up the oars and row like I told you. Faster than that, son. I'm keeping both in time. Trouble, of course, is that you can be nationalistic or sexist. You don't have to be both. It's just that that combination of two is awful. I mean, they're both horrible traits to have anyway. I'm right. not particularly Keep patriotic or nationalistic, but... You don't want to tip us in. What a wonderful start of the holiday that would be. Do you want to help? I think the world is too small now to be... You're listening, son. You're trying to work things out for yourself. ...concerned with nationalism. How would you learn if I did everything for you, eh? Not concerned with nationalism. We should be concerned about, like, extreme nationalism, obviously, but, like... There are bigger problems right now than... This is my bit of land, and that's your bit of land, and never shall the twain meet, let's say. I didn't mean do it all, just take an oar, maybe. Well, say I did, and you could only work one oar, then where would we be? We'd be going round in circles. <laughs> We're currently going round in circles. Because I wasn't using the thumbstick. Oh, now, look, there's a strong current coming up. It's a good test, son. Of what? Now, How long you can hold your breath? And this won't be a problem. I keep us straight and true. Strong arms. I said strong. No, 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 no. Yes. Othering that is side. the problem. Harder on the poor side. Help. Jesus, Pete, that one. I'm trying to move. Oh, come on. Give it here. Give it here. God, you get back there. I'll do it. Yes, the other othering is always the problem. It's always the, the root problem. Maybe you're right. Because oftentimes things viewed as other are incorrectly viewed as lesser. Come on. Prove you can go the rest of the way. Current's not as strong now. Oh, here you go. And boy, howdy, if you view something as lesser, it's awful easy to view it as, you know, something you can treat how you want to treat it. I have done my best, Peter. Whatever you do in life, you can't expect anyone to do things for you. My experience. Why do people suck? Again, not you, chat. You're lovely people, I'm sure. I won't always be here to help. And there'll come a time when you've got to prove you can do something by yourself. Well, I'm playing Silent Hill too soon, so I can row a boat in that and prove that I can do it then. Ahoy! Good roar, Captain Hamilton. Oh, get me away from this thing. It looks calm out there, but it, it's rougher than you think. Oh, it does look nice and calm, you're right. It's the current. Can't you see it? It's very nasty ripples. 
<laughs> Practically a storm surge. Oh, Clara. I think if the wind had been in another direction... I'd... Oh, come here. Don't you know me at all by now? Come on, let's walk. All right. Thank you. Well, I've got used to being this relaxed. What's it going to be like getting back to college, having to smarten ourselves up? I really like you like this. It's nice. Remember when we met on that train and you're so self-conscious about your shoes? I do. Oh, I remember. Seems silly now, eh? You were wearing that lovely sweater you got on now, weren't you? Not this. Well, I only bought it recently. It's a new colour for me. You sure about that? Positive. Oh, strange. So, do you want the good news? Absolutely. While you're out, I check with the That's hotel. That's not and where I thought the prompt was going, if I'm being honest. And I thought, why not? Extend this holiday as long as we can. <laughs> Extend the celebration. Celebration? Oh, you know, um, the summer of work. In fact, that it's practically all done now. And perhaps we could celebrate us, too. Us? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Mr. Absolutely Hamilton. Oh, stop it. I don't say it like I that. I keep forgetting that's his name. You do. I'll be honest. That's fine. Ready to go home soon? Not in the slightest. Oh, so pretty. Oh, look at these houses. Oh, if I had found someone I could row with, perhaps I could be living here. Hey, I can row. Oh, well, that's good, because I think I might be in love. With the houses or with Peter? Oh. Me too. Well, those two houses up on the cliff, look. Oh, which one should we have, the red or the blue? It's tricky. Why not both? Oh, go on, pick one. Uh, okay, uh, red. My choice, exactly. Oh, almost like I knew what you were going to say. Well, either house looks big enough for me. Maybe more than me one day. A dog? Why not? A little someone else to play with it, perhaps? Ah, panic! About your work? Wouldn't you want to finish that first? Well, finish work before I settle down, you mean? Yes. Yeah, I love my work. You know I do. I'm not going to finish it. I'm going to keep going as long as I can. I don't see why it has to be one or the other. Would you give up work to have children? I would. I really would. No, well, I th think the thing is, I wouldn't expect a man to give it all up. That's the f that's the point. Not if he really loved his work. It's a really good handling of the of the subject. What if the rest of the world think that we should give it all up? I keep thinking about all these bright young women I'm teaching, and I'm scared. I'm, I'm scared that, despite all they've achieved. Despite the fact that they're walking out into the world with a degree from Cambridge, the first thing they'll be asked is, how fast can you type? You're probably right. It's a real waste of talent. It really is a waste, you're right. Even the jobs they get, they're not expected to keep once they've had children. All it needs is people to stand up to it. No, you're right. I think women have every right to state their claim. Not a woman this time. Women have been making a stand, throwing themselves under horses since the suffragettes. We need men to start fighting for it. You can count on me. It's not going to end well. Won't become part of all that. It's not easy, you know. A lot of people are still living in the dark ages about all this. Your professor, for one, I'll bet. Uh, yes, actually. It's not as bad as you think. I wouldn't be so sure. He doesn't know about any of this, does he? Panic! This, this, this work? Exactly. The work we've done. She knows. Abort. Abort. You'll tell him, won't you? Of course I will. I'll go straight to his office as soon as we're back. You promised me that. I'm really hoping that this is a choice I can actually make. I that. And it's not a false thing. 
Happy? Happy? <laughs> you? Very. I'm going to be awfully angry if it's not. I read that as salami, and I don't know why, because it is the SS Lumi. I guess it's frozen salami. Peter, marvelous to see you. Do come in. Take a seat. Why well, don't, don't you want it anymore? I have to say, I'm delighted. Delighted? Well, that's that's wonderful to hear. I must say it's very impressive. Very kind of you. Not at all. It's your work. I think the direction you took it gave it something of real value. Well, as I say, quite apart from the climate side of things, the method you developed to track radiation, I can see it having far-reaching implications, and not just in your own field. It's marvellous. I'm glad you think so. Yeah, first rate piece of work. First rate. Th this other name on here, Dr. Clara McKeary. I presume we can drop that. No. Clara was responsible for half. Absolutely the not. I couldn't. Oh. Well, um, I understand you probably had some little research assistants, but uh, well, we all have secrets. <laughs> we, we just don't usually put the name on the front cover of the paper. Yeah, uh, Clara did more than a, a little research, really. Hmm. Oh, well, I see. Tell me, have you seen your friend Joseph recently, Samuel? I want to punch him. Uh -huh. Doing so well in the new positions. I would dearly love to see the same for you, Peter. And more. Thank you. You will be so well deserved after all these years, especially after the risk I took. Oh, emotional manipulation. Boy from a grammar school, first in his family to make it to university, you know what I'm saying. It's been really wonderful to give you this opportunity. I would just hate you to throw it away by misattributing your own hard work. That's for whatever reasons you might have. I, uh, I, I appreciate your concern, but. Clara is responsible for the work on this, too. Well, as I say, it really is very good, and I'm not the only one who thinks so. You've given it to someone else already. I knew a few who I thought might be interested. I thought you'd be... Exciting. In fact, I think you might want to prepare yourself for being the center of attention for a little while. I'm sure you would be able to cope, but I think it's perhaps not quite the sort of thing you'd like to foist on a young woman, show. I see. And okay to foist upon a man's, of course. But Sir, out the window. No doubt you'd be up to the Please. Yourself. With this name on here, there is a good chance it will cause problems. I'm sure I could handle them. This isn't all about you, I'm afraid. There could be problems for everyone. Clara was close with Molly Shannon, wasn't she? The one suspected of being a communist spy. I'm afraid I don't know. Well, it's true. How close they were is the real question. Really? This is, this is where you're going with this? Molly on that anti-British protest march, I hear. It was anti-nuclear defence, not anti-British. Well, you know my thoughts on can be one and the same thing. A lot of people, very important people... Yeah, Anton Lesser did a fantastic job as the professor. Some of the benefactors of this college, for example. My father used to call this university one of the greatest contributions Britain has made to the world. I would agree with that. 
wouldn't you? One of the greatest. Really? <laughs> well, it, it does some great work. It's not that great. It does. I'd hate to be the one to undermine it. The affair with this Cambridge Fall business has been bad enough. <laughs> we can't change the past, but we can learn from it. Before we fool ourselves into remembering it too kindly. And with this name on here, the associations one might make. You see what I'm saying? I see. But I really think her name should stay. Good God, Peter! I am trying to make you understand something. <laughs> this is precisely the way the rot sets in. It's the slow knife. <sighs> Members of this university were recruited to spy for the Soviet Union ten years ago. Now, members of this university are demanding we lay down our weapons. The only defense we have against the very same foreign power. What happens in ten years' time? And what happens to Progress. the integrity of this college in ten years? If you share your work on a whim with a girl you've taken a fancy to. And what happens ten years after that? More progress. Cannot survive by making oneself vulnerable. That is why this university is still here. That is why I am still here. I hope you understand how much I care about your success. It's so common for work to fade into obscurity after it's published it would be a shame if yours were denied my full-throated support especially after so many years I've spent years working on this i cannot make this guy's an a-hole by all means publish with clara as a co-author if you're feeling generous but if you do, you'll have to take your chances. It would be difficult for me to bring to bear any influence I have. No, it wouldn't. By way of illustration, I've been addressing Whitehall. Thank you. Thank you. I'm afraid I can't tell you much more now. He's a good man. Came. You may find there's one more reason to leave Clara out of things. I'm sure things will become clear. I think you've made things very clear. Are you... Well, let me know what you decide. Are you trying to convince me that she's a Soviet sympathizer? Just knock any time. What, on your head? My door is always open. With this lamp? Hey, Peter, you might want to... You might want to get up. Floyd's kind of worried about you. And he's the one with the broken leg trapped in a plane. You know what they say? Where the smoke? Smoke. There's people. Someone's there. Well known saying. Well known saying that one. Well to him, someone questioning British hegemony is a Soviet sympathizer. It's true. I do like the social commentary this game's making. I like how they just. Don't bother putting in fake footsteps as if Peter's walked up there. It's just no, you just start here. This is where you teleported to. This is where the foot where the footstep where the footprints start. Come back! 
back! Hey! Well, that's an awfully bad idea. Oh, that music, though. I'm pressing B for us, you know, with all of the power in my thumb. I didn't let go of B, I promise. I hate jump cuts. I find them really disorienting. Well, really, Peter, you don't have anyone to blame but yourself, though. Ladder just goes to nowhere. Fun times. I think Peter also hates jump cuts. You know what? I think you might be onto something. Uh, with that. We've had this one. You don't. To send via Morse Secret from J. Svart's U.S. Antarctic Survey, stationed at Norway Station. A. SOS, landslide, landslide cuts main huts, use medical training to help Norwegians. One man still injured, two men dead, suspected Soviet activity. One old ship behind the mountain of no use, abandoned. Please send ship, please help. Oh, whoops. Can I please take the crutch? Wow, that's the only thing in the hut? But there's a crutch, right? Okay. Oh, the door's no longer red. Let me in! Dr. Hamilton. Peter. How do you do? So good to meet you. How do you do? Excuse me, I won't be a moment. Still three o'clock, yes? Oh no, no need to reschedule. This won't take long. It should be very quick. Could you not have that conversation with me here? I don't want to hear it. Right then, please do take a seat. Delighted you could make it to London. I do hope you get the time to enjoy it a little too, considering how busy you've been recently. Thank you. I'll, uh, I'll try to. Good, do. Anyway, I imagine you're wondering why we asked you here. It had crossed my mind. Well, it can't have surprised you that your field of study has been of increasing interest to us, especially since the war. You're, you're, you're interested in climatology? Oh, of course. The paper is going very well, I hear. Well, it is now, thank you. Oh, yes, your professor, John Hargreaves, passed us a copy. And it's impressive, the amount of information you've managed to gather. Although I imagine the process of gathering it was rather difficult on your limited budget. Y you know all about it, it seems. As I said, we were most impressed and wanted to make you an offer. Uh, reward, even. Reward? Well, 
You've no doubt taken your budget to its limits by now. What would you say if I could guarantee you a practically unlimited budget for further study? Ensure you had the best equipment, like the Americans. Take you right to the heart of things. The Send you to Antarctica. I believe you traced the source of the radiation back to Antarctica, didn't you? Well, well it was um, me and, and someone else. I see. Well, whatever the details, I'd say that warrants further study on location, wouldn't you? It does? It certainly does. We could place you with the Falkland Islands Dependency Survey working in Antarctic scientist pods. But happy amateurs, very passionate like yourself. Am I an amateur? Of course, you'd probably have to sort a few things out with the other name we saw in the paper before you go. I hope that wouldn't be too difficult, considering what's on offer. Uh, the other name, um, Clara, you mean? Uh, lovely name. Probably for the best, she wouldn't be able to go. Oh, not my say-so, I'm afraid. It's run a bit like the army down there. No women allowed. Whose say-so is this? I can assure you this is bigger than any one person. Bigger than two people, you mean? I see. Well, you signed those papers on your way in <laughs> earlier, so I'm... Call it on your BS, sir. Things in the Antarctic, they've been a little strained recently. Lots of vested interests, territorial claims overlapping. Some sides wanting to secure the resources under the ground. Now, this kind of thing has been going on for decades, of course. W what kind of thing? Oh, the Germans were flying over there, dropping swastikas in big circles. Before the war, that is. All a bit ridiculous, really. Now, I'm afraid it's the Soviets we've got to contend with. Bit of a royal mess, if you ask me. Well... Still, we're trying to work with them. Work with them? May I ask how? You may. It should all be in everyone's interest, you see. Every country signed up to something called the Antarctic Treaty. All a rather clever bit of politicking that happened behind the scenes a few years ago. Set up to ensure that Antarctica is used for strictly peaceful purposes. No weapons are to be used. No one can make any future claims on the land. Now, if it sticks, everyone will be frightfully happy. Every side content that they've staked their claim. No more aggression, let's say. <sighs> Sounds sensible. Sounds difficult to... You know, enforce. You'd have thought so. We've managed to placate the Soviets so far. This is all strictly confidential, but the sounds coming from Whitehall are not good. We're rather worried that it might all fall through. I'm sure you are, but how does this affect me? Well, in addition to the climate science you'd be able to do, tracking the radiation in the clouds and so forth, we'd like you to inform us of any other sources of radiation out there. What the readings are. A little bit of if espionage. There are bombs being set off on the continent. It's important that we know as much as we can about them. We don't know what the Soviets might do next. You'd be using the very best equipment, as I said. Useful for your career. Useful for us. This is still climate science, yes? Absolutely right. The less we're involved, the better, really. But as I say, if you can help us in this small way, it would certainly help that career of yours. You help us, we don't sink your career. That's fine. Thank you. Well, after speaking with a few people, Professor Hargreaves, for example, I'm sure that whatever your academic ambitions, after working on something as important as this, you'd have no trouble progressing. And if nothing else... Think of the adventure of it. What a reward it would be for all your hard work. What do you think? All right. I'll consider it. What a reward. Go to the Please do. coldest place Sorry, on earth I've got a without your West girlfriend. Minister in 20 minutes. We'll have to cut this short. And study the it's weather. It's been very good to meet you. Spy on the Russians. Do let me know. You know, that's maybe not a reward I'm interested in. And if this... Clara thing feels like a sticking point. All I can say is sometimes we all have to answer to something greater than ourselves. Why not think of it as an opportunity for you and to do what's right? I see. Well, um, I'll do what's right. You can trust me on that. I hope so. Women come and go. 
This is for your country. Again, not where I thought that prompt would go, if I'm being honest. Transcript of received message from US military attaché Antarctic comms. Norwegians aware of emergency. Norwegian Navy sending sister ship for rescue. Keep watch for scout plane. Landing craft will receive all at 1800 hours. Prepare stretcher for injured man and transport to landing area. That's the... Uh, different thing. No, same thing. Can't tilt it, turn it over. The game really wants me to read it, but I've read it twice now. Or maybe I'm just going too far towards the camera and it's turning me around. I see a flash of red over there. I assume that's the next point of interest. Music is very good. I know I've been frothing about the soundtrack the entire way through. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. It's good. Okay. It's a good soundtrack. I'm loving it. Really enjoying the game, actually. You know, I don't want to punch all of the sexists, but there we are. I'd like to think we're beyond sexism right now, but we aren't. I can't even say that in some in all areas of industry it's better actually because it's really not depending on where you work from my understanding of things Get in the snow car! <sighs> Back. It's Norwegian, I can tell because of the flag. I am smart. Hey, the keys are in this one. And it's unlocked. Companies have only gotten better at paying lip service to it. In my previous job, I found out that I made more money than my female supervisor. That's why they don't want to talk about wages. That is the extremely upsetting thing, yes. That's really quiet. Can you, Peter, can you speak up? I like it when companies try to tell their employees it's illegal to talk about your wages. Oh, time to pass out, I guess. And, like, it's not. <laughs> you can talk about that stuff. Hey, a flare. Either I've gone in a huge circle, or that's not Floyd, or I'm hallucinating. Which at this point is entirely possible, I will admit. I'm pretty sure Peter has been tripping for the past two and a half hours.
In case it's not immediately obvious, by the way, I'm 100% for wage equality. I'm 100% for equality. Hey, Angel. How you doing? But then, you know, I'm non-binary and very queer, so of course I'm for equality. Such speed, much of the engine noise. I don't know where that came from, I will admit. I'm not going to apologize for it, I'm just like, where did that come from? What? I was going to say, it's not the end of the game. <laughs> I mean, I might have enjoyed it if I was a ten-year-old boy, but it was just boys and their toys again. It's just an adventure story. I do all your adventure fantasies involve so much shooting. They're presenting themselves as if they're heroes in instead of the land grabbers they actually were. Ooh, she's progressive. Okay, I, I see what you mean. I know what you're about to see, that they were just men testing themselves against the world. I do hear where you're coming from. Fine, I'll stop it now. And another thing, where were all the women? I can't have won she was a cook. We'll go and see a different film next time. No, I mean, she has a point. I'm only teasing. I, I do see what you mean, really. It's depressing. Let's turn the radio on, would you? <clears throat> of course. I'm depressed. Turn on the BBC News. could reach a deal and in an increasingly nervous political atmosphere there is now the risk that there will be no agreement to stop any active aggression in Antarctica after pinning the blame firmly on what he called Russia's continuing aggression the Prime Minister warned that the next steps are far from clear and that in this climate of mistrust the world needed to stay vigilant it remains to be seen who will make the next move it's probably me with the left thumbstick, if I'm being honest. That's probably the next thing to move. What the hell was that? Oh God, he's shooting at me. Hey, stop shooting, you mad fool! Oh, no, no, he's hit the engine. You've hit the engine. What are you? What have you done? It's you, mate. Of course, it's me. Are you out of your mind? Sorry, mate. I thought you were a bloody Russian. Why are you bad shot, sitting in the snow? I gotta catch us a gal for our tea. You hit the vehicle. The engine's dead. You satisfied with yourself? Never felt better. Took the last of those painkillers and a drop of whiskey sorted me right out. I thought I'd go for a walk. You need to get back inside. Is the radio on? Ah, oh, yeah, I had to get away from those beeps. Better out It's here. Morse code, my dude? Believe me, it's not better out here. Why don't you leave me in peace? Come on, let's, let's get you inside. Ah, oh, yeah, good idea. More whiskey. <laughs> oh, Floyd. Feeling now. Uh, 
bit shitty. But better. Uh, I just uh, just needed that that sleep, mate. Ah, uh, that bloody noise on the radio was driving me mad. You know, there's a a Russian voice that appears on that channel once in a while. Are you sure you're not hearing things? Huh? I might have been out of it for a while, but I know what I heard. Yeah, sounded urgent, whatever it was. Uh, same phrase over and over. Ah, oh, Jesus, it's leg. Do you think the Russians are still out here? Ah, uh, bloody well hope not. Well, I hope someone's here. They don't want us here, you know. Why the hell should they save us, eh? Because it's the kind of thing to do. Know that they wouldn't help us, do you? Whatever you found out there, you weren't supposed to see it. If you think some Soviet's going to be happy to see you get out of here alive, you've got another thinking coming. Personally, if I saw one out here, I'd make sure he didn't make it home either. You demonstrated that by shooting my vehicle. Hey, that's our call sign. Arl. Are we glad to hear you? Hello? Uh, we picked up a distress call from this frequency. Uh, can you hear me? Over. Yes, 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 I can hear you. You're very faint. Uh, can you tell me your position? Over. Floyd, what's our position? Uh, 82 degrees south, 19 west. We're at 82 degrees south, 19 west. Hello? Silence is not good. Hello, can you, t can you tell me what's happening? Why is everywhere deserted? Over. Now, hold on. God, what the hell are they doing? Um, it's possible that there's been some sort of radiation leak. The Soviets have been broadcasting a warning signal which might have triggered an evacuation. Uh, we think that your location is within... Awkward. That's right. Wait, wait, don't go. And now we sit and wait in a plane and freeze. This is the BBC News. Things are not looking good, Peter. You are right, Jack. That again. It's too bloody sinister. Turn it off. Ah. Oh, well, ain't that a beauty? Rescue. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, come on. You heard them. They're sending someone out. Oh, I hope so, mate. We're both in line for knighthoods if we make it out, that's for sure. You still need to sober up. Your government loves to give out honors to failed Antarctic explorers. Oh, shot fired! Oh, endeavor were just looking Woo. Nuts. Shackleton, remember him? He marooned most of his men on an island for a year. They were pioneers, surely. Robert Scott, he got the polar medal, didn't even make it home. Heroic failures. That's what I strive for, chat. Heroic failure. Remember me as I was. How does Adequate. Peter Hamilton sound? Uh, anyway, that's if we make it out. Hope they find us before the food runs out. Well, I found you again, didn't I? Yeah. You did, mate. You did. Which reminds me, how did you find the plane again? Oh, dumb luck. Ah, uh, come on, seriously. Well, no, it was lucky. Spotting the flares that you sent up. What's that? You didn't send up a flare. I never sent up any flares, mate. Yes, you did. Stop messing around. Uh, the flare box was empty. Not been checked in years, my guess. But bloody panicked me for a while. I saw them with my own eyes. How else do you think I got back to you? Search me. Why don't you take a look out? See anything? It's too hazy. Wait. There it is. That's not far away. 
So there is someone else out here. Sending up flares. Do you think they're friendly? Chances are no. We're gonna need more food soon. Put that down. This is from World War One. Would you believe? Yes. Don't mess with that thing again. You've done enough damage. I would. Yeah. One bullet left. I don't want it. We know there's something going on, but we don't know who that could be out there. All I'm saying is, be on your guard. I'm not shooting anyone. Just raise it up when you approach. That's all. Make sure you're the one in charge. If in doubt, make sure you're the one that fires first. There's only one bullet. Just the one. <laughs> you better hope there aren't two of them. So? You gonna wait around here all day then? That was my plan. I'll be back soon. My whiskey, mate. I'll be happy as Larry. And I've got this. So just stay in the plane. Raised, you'll be fine. Make sure you don't get that knighthood posthumously. Rescue's coming. Just stay there. You know what Peter isn't? Peter is not the final girl. That's what Peter isn't. No, I choose not to. What do I have to? Interesting. Kind of thought it would force, like it does with the conversations, kind of thought it would force me to raise the rifle at this point. Hey, that's fair. That's that's fair. Me too. You are right. No, I've been walking around radiation exposed Antarctica for the last two, three hours. Peter, marvelous to see you. You've come at the right time. England are thirty-seven for four. Terrible state of affairs. Anyway, you said you wanted to see me about something, please. Something you wanted to let me know. There is. All right. Well, have you come to a decision? Clara and I, we, we're too close now. I can't take her off. I must say, I admire The fact Clara's just aiming for boys and their toys pays off if you hear her instincts instead, instead of your dad's. Exactly. Yeah. As I've always said. Like, we're both trapped out here. Killing someone isn't going to make a difference. Or threatening them isn't going to make a difference. You will be fine. Good. You have a friend. What the hell? Hey, what, what are you doing? Get Get the hell out! This man, he's not in good condition. Jesus. Peter. What have you done to him? Maybe I saved his life. For now. Now? What, till your band of merry men turn up? We need to leave. Radiation Can sickness. This plane fly? What? Are you the pilot? Can this plane fly? Peter. Peter, what's going on? Why do you bring this damn Soviet agent in here? I didn't. We need to leave. You can bloody leave. The British are coming for coming. us. Coming? No, no. 
They're coming, all right. Just not for you. No, no, nobody is coming. You can think what you like. We're staying put, and you, my friend, can get the hell out. I tell you, there's nobody else out there now. We need to move. Oh, who the hell are you? What are you doing? I'm telling you to piss off you and however many comrades you have out there. I am a comrade. You do not know what is at stake. You do not know anything. We will die here. We need to... Dude, you're drunk, high on painkillers and have a broken leg. You're never going to win that. Can this plane fly? It doesn't matter. We just need to wait till our guys arrive. What is it? Uh, is it the engine? We don't need to fly out. If it is the engine, maybe I can fix. How the hell did you get here in the first place? You must already have he's, transport. He's got a vehicle. Yeah, I had one. No fuel. It's true. It stopped in the snow. What, what happened out there? I... I didn't need to shoot anybody. The man is right. And not feeling very well, I think. Yeah, what's this about a vehicle? I told you, the vehicle is dead. But you have one. I saw it outside. Will it move? No, this man shot it. This man put a bullet through the engine. It's dead. He likes his weapons too much, I see. <laughs> Here, give it. So, we need to fly or we die here. Die here? What's going on out there? It's a, it's a radiation leak, is that it? It's been contained, they told us on the radio. No leak, an explosion. They are dropping a nuclear... Oh! Bomb. No, no, you're wrong. Soon. You have radio? You have heard countdown, beep, beep, like Sputnik? Oh, that, I mean, it, it's, it's all right. They told us it's nothing. It's just a radiation warning. It is countdown. We do not have long. You, you have heard it getting faster, yes? Yeah, Peter, it was on that frequency when I switched it off. See if you can get it. Is this how you, do you want Frozen Godzilla? Because this is how you get Frozen Godzilla. It is getting faster all the time. The faster it gets, the less time we have. We need to leave. No, they're coming. They said they'd keep broadcasting, so we knew they were on their way. And are they? Peter, turn the dial. Okay. Wait, who's this making the Falklands? Shouldn't be too terribly difficult and should be British aligned at this time. I mean, they're still British aligned, so. Can you hear anything? Ah, oh, hold on. Come on. What's going on? There's nothing there. Christ almighty. I am engineer. Maybe I could fix the aircraft if you would tell me what is wrong. Do we just need to pull it out of the snow? Is there damage? Oh, no, no, it's, it's in good shape. I saved the plane, but uh, it's more complicated. Frozen carburetor, that's my guess. You have a lighter? Something to heat it? Wait. Here. Then I can fix. Can I help? No, don't worry. If I am careful, it will be enough. We just have to get out of here. We're all right. We're saved. Maybe. Maybe we are all saved. Jesus. What is happening? Saved by a so Saved by a person. No, it's all right. We're going to be all right. Stop othering them. It doesn't matter where he's from. He might be the only man within a, a, a thousand miles who can fix this aircraft. <laughs> lucky we found him. Yeah, lucky you couldn't shoot straight. Didn't even shoot. Yes. Well, what is it now? You say you land the plane well, but there's a hole underneath. Ugh. In the fuel tank. No, no, no. You said you saved the plane. Oh, I saved us, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I, I, I can close it up, but that is not the problem. The, the fuel There's is gone. No fuel. Can you check again? There is nothing. Oh, Christ. The fuel in the snow cat? Then it doesn't matter even if we fix the engine. There will be no point. We're screwed then. 
Yeah, un unless uh, d there is fuel in the wing. I know it's probably not the same type of fuel. This time, flying light. Then we are, as you say, screwed. Floyd, why did you have to go and shoot the engine? Just three bros waiting for the end. Might as well make use of that lighter. Not your usual brand, I would guess. No. Thank you. Seeing as we're all doomed, might as well be mates. Ah. Take it, you don't have any out there anymore. Comrades. No. Why were you alone? I was uh, following everyone as we evacuated. Uh, in the storm, we could not see each other. My vehicle ran out of fuel. I was behind them. They did not see me stop. Uh, maybe they reach the coast before they even realized. They just left you there. I was desperate. I prayed for them to come back, but uh, I knew they wouldn't. The snow covered our tracks, and uh, they had their orders. They wanted to survive. Which is fair. Yeah, they would have been crazy to come back. <laughs> I can't believe it. Well, you have not been so lucky, too. Storm got us both, eh? Well, your English is very good. I take it you're not a spy. This would be very bad spy. <laughs> no, I, I am engineer. And uh, translator, too, sometimes. I, I could help translate British and American radar traffic. That makes me think. What were you doing here? All right. That's a fair <laughs> question. New spirit of international cooperation. You might as well know. It. I was asked to take this gentleman out to the big British science base down south. He was supposed to be studying there. That right, Peter? Climate science. The, the clouds. Yeah, that's what we told everyone too. You were doing climate science here as well? No, officially. Unofficially, it uh, was a little more than that. I just love him. He's we studying Can we keep else. him? We were studying you. I am surprised you did not know. You have been studying us. No, no. I was going to study radiation in the clouds. Climate science, yes. Um, so, maybe it is you who are a spice. Yeah, but it seems you don't know all our secrets just yet. I saw the mine. You? You made it that far? I did. So, you, you saw the base where we live? Hmm. It must have been awful there. No, oh, we packed everything up in the big trucks before they left. <laughs> Took everything with us. You, you don't think we really live like that? You, you must have thought we were animals. Uh, no. No, I didn't think you were. Well, who says you're not? Oh, he's been funny. He's getting drunk. Well, there's not much reason to lay off it now. Uh, your health? So what were the rest of you doing out there? We uh, monitored that mine, checked for leaks, monitored for radiation levels. But we monitored other things too. Other mines? Not that, no. Your bomb tests? No. Your bomb yes. Gasp! No. Yours. No, the British don't test out here. The Antarctic Treaty prevents them. It should prevent the Americans too. But this does not stop them. Oh, it's interesting what they had told you. Did they tell you to study our bombs? Uh, well, <clears throat> they... 
did say there might be He knows chat abort abort we using them but did they tell you you would really be studying your own I don't like what you're suggesting I don't know what they said but our government they lied to us well my government wouldn't it really would, would though whatever you think we know British bombs have been getting too close shock waves from one caused the landslide killed two men the, the Norwegian base yeah, I believe so we don't test here seems you do and each time your bombs uh, go they, they, they make more places unusable like the mine are you saying that's a, a British bomb that's gonna go off no this bomb is Russian and it will be dropped right over the mine Wait, wait, you destroy your own mind. Things aren't going well. Mine is old, they can leave it. But they they want to destroy it. To uh, keep it a secret. Nice way to keep a secret. Yeah, very bloody inconspicuous. Maybe they they think it is better this way. Better than everyone discovering what they've been up to? Stockpiling uranium, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose so. Surely there'd be some kind of retaliation. Uh, maybe they think uh, they can just say it, it, it is a jest. Ah, it sounds bloody risky. The British and the Americans would expose it, surely. Well, then risk uh, revealing that they have been breaching the treaty too. <laughs> they are just as guilty. Ah, it's all just flag waving. Bullshit, I don't care for it. I'm trying to stay clear of that stuff since the war. Still caught up. Oh gosh, the cigarette's in his arm. I've just noticed. I also do not care about taking sides. I am tired of their secrets. I just wanted to get home. We all wanted to go home. Oh, we are all the same. Why not? Is there a plane with a bomb on it? That is what the countdown means. And we're stuck in the middle of it all. Yes. I really should wrap up. Just waiting for a convenient fuel. place to do so. No fuel. In no escape. Yeah, wrap up the whole stream. It's getting on for six o'clock here, so I need to eat Step food. About it. I do not understand. Make some dinner for my partner and I. I don't worry, a British thing. And then just resume tomorrow. Hmm. Super I close to the end. Oh, if we're super it. close to the end, I might push my on through then. Cigarette would be British. Yeah. I mean, it felt like we're close to the end. I just. So did Disco Elysium. Keeping it for later. Maybe not in your condition. Maybe not. I don't think he can hear me. When it comes, uh, what do we see? Uh, flash of light. It'll be quick, right? Disco Elysium was a fun game. I hope so. I'm glad I stuck with it. That is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I wonder where it came from. <sighs> Bottom of the barrel, maybe. Oh. Oh, he's coming round. He said he thought you were completely he out said of you it. You wonder where it came from. What? Something about barrels. Ah, oh, yeah. So you did hear us, yeah. Yes, mate, I was talking about barrels. Don't worry yourself. Unless you've seen some barrels full of fuel for this aircraft. I have, actually. I've seen barrels. I've seen... What's that? Barrels. About 15 minutes to the credits. Thank you. What kind? What, what, what color do you paint your aircraft fuel barrels? Uh, 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 red, red, red with a, a white stripe. Yeah, I, I've seen them, lots of them. Where? At Deception Point. Yeah. 
The British base, that way. What, you little beauty? Why, why didn't you say? I, 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 I didn't know. I, I didn't know they were for aircraft. How far is the base? Uh, uh, it's not that far. It's, uh, it's walkable. No, we need one. Someone needs to go. Too right. Yeah, they, there's only one who can go. <laughs> the man no, dying of exposure. No, he's fitter than you. You cannot walk. You could go. I have to fix the engine. We may already be too late. Come. We need rope. Hey, wh wh where are you going? We we need to pull the aircraft out of snow first. Do Come. we have the time now? Do we have the choice now? It's uncertain death Come. or certain death, Peter. Pick your poison. Just don't pick the whiskey. You, you be careful with my baby. Don't mess up her tail. You count two, three. We pull together after. I'm barrican for you guys. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Yeah. Ah. Ah. That's the bloody stuff! Top work! Good job! Well, give me that. What? We need your sober, you fool! Hey, that's for my leg. You're the I pilot! Need you need to show me engine. And you? We need fuel now. You know which way to go. Yeah, towards the red light. Towards that I didn't even light. notice the prompt, I'll be honest. So it's weather coming in. It, it can come in very fast. You need to be quick. You can do this. We need you to do this. Please. I can do it. I know it's in the snow, but it looks like the bottle's you floating. You die if you can't. I, I need to fix engine. If I finish, I come. But you, you are on your own now. Please. <laughs> True immersion? Go. Why would you immerse yourself that much in the game? Are you, are you sadist? Also, a blizzard in Texas. That sounds awful. A winter storm, sorry. That sounds like not what the state is known for. If you turn up the sound, there is there is snow foley. I just have it turned down so the sound turned down so it doesn't blow out the um, audio levels. Eating frozen burritos, your belly heats up with your own body. Oof. That sounds harsh. I'm sorry that you had to go through it. I have to go. You promised. You lied. What? Is this all stuff that he wished, like he's remembering things the way he wished they'd gone? Get away from me. Clara, wait. Not now. Clara, come back. It could have been so good, Peter. Well, wait, it, it is good. It's getting published. I'm not talking about the bloody paper, Peter. Christ, us! Well, we, we are good, aren't we? Well, you might be, but I'm not sure I know what's going through your mind anymore. After everything we've done, after you promised, promise you that. Promise you that? What? Oh! Clara! Don't you worry about me, Peter. I'll be fine. <laughs> Going to see your professor, were you? Oh, more fool me. I, I did go. I should have known you'd always back your little boys club over me. 
You had no intention of telling him how much I've done. No, no, I, I told him. The word gets out, Peter. I didn't think it at the start, but you're just like the rest of them. You, of all people. Still, that's my fault, I suppose. Fault? No, no, nobody's a fault. I should have known from the start, ever since you introduced yourself so formally, just Dr. Hamilton, work first with you, always. No, no, I, I didn't do that. I would have said Peter. Absolutely, what's happening? Would you, now? And I suppose you didn't run away from my lecture that time. Didn't let me go on that march all by myself. You don't take one sugar in your bloody tea. It's like when we were talking about living in that blue house by the sea. What was so frightening about that? Why the sudden panic? I, I, I didn't panic. We had a discussion. <sighs> I don't remember one. Anyway, no, no, you're the one who's wrong. It was the red house, not the blue one. <laughs> your memory, Peter. I can't even thinking straight. Yes. <sighs> I know what happened. I was there. Perhaps you were miles away again. Are you even here now? Yes. Here, yes, absolutely. Peter. I didn't want the feels game. Were you ever here? I'm here now. I'm here. I'm not gonna be fooled by this any longer. Do you actually believe yourself? I, 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 I don't know. You betrayed me. I'm not forgiving that. I can bloody well promise you that. Waiting for it to disappear. Hmm. I'm assuming yes, and this that's what this thing has been about all along. Let's cut scene. You've come at the right time. England are thirty seven for four terrible state of affairs. Anyway, you said you wanted to see me about something, please. Something you wanted to let me know. It's very vaporwave, this scene. Clara did half the work. She's owed the credit for it. So close. Come, we can do this together. Uh, teamwork. Makes the dream work. With us both. Take that side and push, push. Stay straight. Stay straight. Straight <laughs> and true. <laughs> straight and true. <laughs> I'm not going to make the same joke again. Together, come. There is no time. Please, up, come, up. You must get up. Uh oh. Go, go, go. All right, here goes nothing. You ready to go get that knighthood? Go, go, go. Here we go. Less sarcasm, more escaping certain death, please, Floyd. Don't appear to be dead. Now that's a, that's a good thing. Wait, Clara, Clara, wait. Oh. Don't open the door, Peter. We can turn it around, go back.
Well, bother. <laughs> this plane comes with child locks. Like Asking the right question, soul. babe. This beautiful thing, if you wanted it to be. Come here. They're the red and blue houses, chat. The symbolism. Go back. Let's go. Okay, follow me. This isn't the way back, is it? I know another way around. Don't worry, we'll get less wet. Wait. Exciting, isn't it? Yes. Uncertain death could be a simile for life. It could be. So interestingly, when I played this initially, I tried to give Clara credit in the end, but the choice was activating so slow it defaulted to taking her name out while I tried to leave it in. Interesting. I guess there's a slightly different choice was made along the way. But I assume the game ends the same way. Oh, Gwilym Lee. There you go, babe. The guy voicing Peter was the uh, was DS um, Nelson. Obviously, this is where I would ordinarily present my thoughts about the game, but as I am reviewing this for Gamer Dating, uh, you know, that'll be that instead. So the way it ends is in this final scene, he says, you go on ahead, stays on the mountain by himself when she runs down the hill. Just their lives diverging. I'll say this here, actually, because I, I won't put this in the review as clearly, because um, it's a spo huge spoiler. Um, I'm not usually a fan of games that present the illusion of choice. And there's still kind of some bitterness, uh, you know, based on the fact that ultimately the choices make no difference, apart from apparently a line at the end. But that was handled very well. Obviously games like this kind of stand on the characters than anything else. I have to check out your review. I consider making a video about this game but undecided if I can really do it justice. Hey, that's fair. I'll, um... So the reviews are, isn't the illusion of choice a political statement here though? It is, it definitely is. Uh, the reviews go up on Gamer Dating, um, and they usually tweet about the reviews, but if you like, particularly want to read it, uh, and you know, obviously I retweet their tweets, um, but if you particularly want to read it, I usually do share the link on my Discord server. So the, it's the first one there. Um, and I'll try and remember to, to share it. Obviously, if you then 
leave the Discord server, totally fine. Um, yeah, same as if you're a unfollow on Twitter, that's also totally fine. I'm not, I'm not big on forcing people to stay beyond when they want to leave. That's technically imp false imprisonment. And, you know, if I can find out a way to do that digitally, I'm sure there's a name for that too. A soundtrack, though. South of the Circle. By State of Play. That's the... There it is. Does this just mean I've got extra behind the scenes stuff now? Wow, that is a lot of stuff. Helpful. Um, I will say if you I've enjoyed the atmosphere of this. There is a book by um, Michelle Paver set in an, in an uh, I think that's an Arctic research base, but it's a very good, very good read. Um, I will find the, the name of it. While I'm recommending books, I try to, you know, actually give the name of the book. Press the wrong button. Uh, standalone books. Dark Matter. There we go. That's what it's called. Uh, it's simply titled Dark Matter, A Ghost Story. And it's set in 1937 um, at a, a, a research base, an Arctic research base on Svalbard. Well worth a read. Might reread it this year, actually. But there we go. That was South of the Circle in just under three hours and 20 minutes. I really enjoyed that. That was, that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, like I said, for more formulated thoughts, please do... Uh, keep an eye out for the review. I'll be retweeting it on Twitter when it goes live. Uh, and I'm sorry, I, I do try to share my reviews on my Discord server. Um, I'm going to have a think. Jack Lockjaw, thank you for being here. Thank you for the support. Thank you for telling me what that white square did, as I said. Uh, yeah, I was streaming Silent Hill too. So um, for my, my current plans, you know, I'll end the recording here and I'll continue... My Twitch, don't go anywhere. YouTube, thank you for watching. Please, as ever, please do consider subscribing to the YouTube channel or following on Twitch. It helps me out a lot. But YouTube, please do stay safe, healthy, wholesome, and I'll see you around.